Koi Dichi Wa Cha. Can you can you hear that? <laughs> can you hear that? <laughs> I was actually waiting for the um, yeah. I, I was waiting for that to stop, but no, they're they're still going. <laughs> they're still going. Oh my god! Give me just a bit. I, I'll be hold on a minute. Bodega rat, ginger jelly bean. Thank you for the one year. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Wow, everybody. Um, yeah, they're yeah they're leaf blowing the concrete. I don't know what they're doing. It's like I don't know, chat. We're gonna we just have to go with it. Hopefully, the background music is loud enough to cover the the weird stuff. They even like they brought out a um, a lawnmower now, so like taking us farming ambience. <laughs> <laughs> Immersion 100. Snag Dragon, thank you for the six months. Thank you, thank you. Oak Lady, Oak Lady, thank you for reaping the membership. The most leafless concrete. <laughs> that Milan goggles, thank you for the super. Play Seabat at 3 a.m. Master of Edge. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't think I could. It would uh, bother my, my housemates too. <laughs> Wolf Rain, thank you for the one month. Nice relaxing dream while I lay in bed sick. <gasps> oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're able to get some rest and recover soon. Please take care of yourself. Thank you so much for being the membership of Quidi Quidi. They have soggy concrete or something? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, it's, they just, I don't know. It, it's just a thing they do. It's just a thing they do. <laughs> Good events, hello. Thank you for the one year. Quidi Quidi, one year following your dadness. Thank you, thank you. If I feel if I sound a little funny, um, that's because I I've been like practicing things, so like I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> I apologize if I like coffee because uh, my throat's a little my throat is a little sore right now. Uh, <sighs> I will say though, um, wait, I feel. Sticky, like, do you see that? Like, I I don't feel smooth. I feel sticky, and I think it's because of my Wi-Fi. It's like, just kind of cutting in and out. Do you see that? Like right there. Like, oh yeah, right there, right there. See? It's not it's not as smooth. Um, stuttery. There's a lag. Yeah, it, it feels weird. Um, there's like, I don't know. My internet's being my ISP's being weird. Um, like. That's kind of how, because uh, my phone is connected to the Wi-Fi right now. Um, it's not connected directly because we don't have like a cable. I like, if anyone knows how to get a Ethernet cable to hook up to an iPhone directly, I would love to know, but I don't think there is. I don't think there is one. So the phone has to connect via Wi-Fi. So because it's by Wi-Fi, um, it, it is having some issues. Not too much. We're like consistent-ish. But like, if you if you notice the lagging stutter, like the weird stickiness, that's because of the Wi-Fi. Um, it's just being weird. Would it be strong enough for streaming? We're going to find out. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Connect to your PC. It doesn't work that way. It has to use Wi-Fi. So um, if the Wi-Fi is having issues and hiccups, then unfortunately, the the phone itself also has hiccups. Angelic T, thank you for the 10 months. Okay, okay. Shin restart to Sunday fix. ISP, please cooperate. I hope so. I hope so. Let's fingers crossed that it works well. Also, okay, thank you for re upping the membership. Thank you for the 10 months. Yeah. Sounds like you gotta download more Wi Fi. I really want to. Alright, let's go. Uh, fortune teller today. Welcome back to Welwick's Oracle. If you seek the hidden knowledge of the future, you've come to the right place. Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. 
luck will not be on your side. That's fair. We can make our own luck. Yeah. Do we need to fight the... <laughs> Man, if I could, if I could fight the land, um, or the, the Wi-Fi, I would. Although I don't know how. Like, I wish I could. Because there's a... I'd like to teach it a thing or two. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Water and can. Gotta make sure Puniko gets their water in the morning. Oh, <laughs> Chad, did you guys know? Did, wait, wait, wait. This is really exciting. Did you guys know there is an island in Japan called Rabbit Island where there are over 700 wild rabbits that just live on the island? That's all they do. And it's like the cutest thing ever. I saw like a video of it and I was like, no way. There's there's no way. It's it's just like a hundred like hundreds of rabbits just vibing and enjoying life. And it's so cute. I wanna go, Chad. I wanna go. Okay, hang on. I want to start working on some of the tree stuff too. So let's see if we can figure out. Hmm. Where are I don't actually have that much copper. A fox village. Oh my god. It's close to Hiroshima. Yeah, it is. So many Benoyes. Wait, how do you pronounce that? It, I know like the, the spelling B-N-U-I. Benoy? Benoy? Bunny. Cat Island, Rabbit Island, Fox Island. Oh. My, my dream is to go to one of the islands there. And then just lie on the ground. Like, I want to be swarmed with rabbits. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. I wanted to, I want to get some of this stuff going on. More, more sap to tap into. But no, like, Koi Island when, oh, that'd be so cool. Like, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, how do we get this again? Oh, Crescent. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm still not really sure what I'm supposed to do with the resin, though. Death by Fluff. Man. Like, is it weird? Is it weird to say that I kind of want to just go and, like, I don't know, like, smear peanut butter on my face and then just lie down and then have, like, all those foxes come up and, like, lick it off and, like, just, like, eat my face? Like, I want to die that way. You know, like I just want to die in a puddle of foxes or bunnies or cats. I don't know, you know, I mean, like, I guess the cat thing will be dangerous because cats have like really um, their tongues have like little spikes on them. So like if a, if a cat will keep licking you, like it can cause irritation. Um, I know that much. But like, I, you know what I'm saying, right, Chad? Like, I just want to lie down and be like, all right, take me. I, like, this is how I want to go, you know? <laughs> Death by fluff, yeah. Also, Chad, today, I don't think we'll be focusing 100% on iron. Because we do have quite a bit of iron right now. I think we also kind of want to go back to the beginning stages of the mines to get some copper. Because I do want to start trying to, like, do more things that involve copper because I feel like we just kind of speed ran our technology um, or like our advancement. We went like very quickly from copper, uh, like really quickly for our uh, materials and then just jumped straight to iron. So I kind of want to go back a little bit to make sure that we didn't miss anything that involves copper. Um, like all of these tappers require copper bars and stuff. Oh, <gasps> bee house. It's only February? Wouldn't it be enjoyable for cats because you'd be sneezing too much? No. It is a sacrifice that I am willing to make. <laughs> I don't know. They're too cute. They're too cute. I just can't help it. Okay. One day, I will have to figure out how to organize all of this properly. Uh, sap. Wait. Can't. Hmm. What are we going to use sap for? I'll take a Benadryl before. I don't know if it's gonna have. We're not. I don't know. Babe, 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 babe. I don't know if it's going to be enough. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I think we're gonna need to have a quite a lot of Benadryl for that. Wild seeds for summer. Spice berry. 
Field snack. It's been a little while, so I'm trying to get um get caught back up with this. Life elixir restores health to full. We don't have any mushrooms. Pine tar, clam, stone. <gasps> Wait, that's right. We were gonna go chop down some trees, weren't we? Double shot my allergy meds when I face plant my cat. Aww. Sounds like a task for a future Shinri. <laughs> okay. Wait, hold up. I shouldn't have done that. That wastes energy. Okay. Uh, we have to clear out all of this. Chat, how do I... How am I supposed to, like, organize my... My farm? I want, like, all... I want all the stamina. And I want to just, like, take the time to reorganize everything on my farm. But I feel like it's gonna take too long. It's like... Uh, in, like, Animal Crossing? And you won't ever have those moments when you have, like, the really well-built farm, or, like, a island in Animal Crossing. You spent, like, six, seven months on it. And then you look at it, you're like, Nah. I want to redo the whole thing. But it feels like such a monumental effort because it's such a, like, it will take so long. Oh, man. Okay. Let's at least clear out the ones we can here. The urge to restart happens all the time. It's the worst part. Ooh, nice music. Yeah. Let's raise the volume a little bit, cause yeah. Oh, should do multiple saves or something, right? Organization gets easier when you upgrade. I want to get to the point where, um, I guess like the big thing right now is automation. If I can automate the watering of the plants... Ooh. <gasps> Maybe that's what we should do. We should do. Uh, we should go back into the mines and then focus on getting some more copper so that we can use that to make a whole bunch of uh, sprinklers. Because right now we got, like, all these. It wouldn't... I wouldn't be able to uh, plant this many and then water them manually because it would take so much energy i would eat up so much like oh gosh i'm already like halfway down no it would take so much energy to just do that so if i can just get more more automation wait hold up i need to get some coal first too we we'll yearn for the mines <laughs> Things much get better, get much better when you get the second. Wait, there's a second tier? No way. Okay, let's go. More iron cooking. Okay, wait, hold up. If I gotta remember, it was one, one for one. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead. Put all this away. Uh, head over to the mines. It's like 2 p.m. or so. Math time if no energy, like Alyssa. Oh yeah, that's true. The bath is open now. The only worry is it takes so long. <laughs> go to the sauna. Oh man. Chad, I want to go to a bath. I want to go to like a hot bath for like... It's been a long time since I've been. When was the last time I've had a hot bath? I think the last time I've had like a proper hot bath was like a decade ago. It's been a long, long time. Easier to wait for the second tier sprinklers and to make more of what you have now? Ah. Ah. Does the second tier sprinklers require copper or is it just strictly iron? Because if it's just iron, then we can, like, dedicate ourselves to just going straight for more iron. It's iron and gold? Oh, gosh. Oof. Wait, we haven't even seen gold, though. <laughs> oh, no. We haven't even seen gold. Where, where do we even find gold? <gasps> Ooh. Lucky. Yeah. Showers require much less setup and prep. Right? That's what I'm saying. Further down. Okay, okay. 
let's not waste too much energy then and focus on collecting what we can obviously like clearly see maybe quickly <gasps> oh cute little ghost spooky spooky yeah Boop. Oh, it's so far away get closer get closer why do you... <laughs> What's with this knockback? Why is it so far? <laughs> okay, there we go. Man. Chad, can I be honest with something? I've been feeling a... Uh, I've been feeling a way recently. <laughs> I've been feeling a way ever since watching the boys' debuts with their 3Ds. Oh my god, like I can't, I can't believe it. It's actually, it's actually happened. It's not happening, it has happened. The 3Ds have come out. And the boys and I were in Discord um, with all the Mana Chans and Mana Sans. We were watching the, the thing and we were just like, oh my god. Can, can we all like give a big shout out real quick for like the studio team and like the tech that they set up there because like, one thing, like, Chan, if you guys go back and rewatch it, there's something that's really cool. The detail. The detail on the hands. Like, Altair's fingers during the cello performance. Oh my god, like, you could see all of those details, like, the tiny little details. We were just like, no way. You can see him pressing down the individual strings. It was insane. Because we, we were just watching it, like, way. Like, how how good is the tracking on that? Oh my god. Man. They did it, chat. They did it. They're 3D. They have... They, they've entered the new dimension. The third dimension, chat. Man. I'm so excited. Actual chills, right? Ooh, wait. Is that a pathway? Is that a thing? Oh no. Darn! It looked like a it looked like the entrance of a cave right there. And now we go 4D exactly right. This year 3D. Next year 4D. We're gonna become a tesseract. <laughs> We're gonna start traveling through time, Chad. Like that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't actually, I actually have no idea what what 4D would look like. <laughs> 3D for me? I have no idea, chat. No clue. I wish I knew. <laughs> I actually no. Wait, no, I take that back. I wish I didn't know because I think of all of the members in Vanguard, I'm probably the most apt to like Shinri Holland <laughs> if I knew. <laughs> So probably it's for the best that I don't know, because if they told me, I would want to leak it to everybody in the teaser. So it's probably for the best that I, I don't know, you know? My goodness. Like, the membership coys know, because like, one of one of the membership like streams I did was like, explicitly just about me leaking like future plans, so... <laughs> They tell Shinri day of. It's like, hey Shinri, can you can you stop by the studio real quick? And I'm like, why? And it's like, oh, it's just a surprise. And then as I show up, they're like, ta-da, here you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. I... <laughs> Thankfully, I haven't been bonked, so not not like that. So maybe maybe we're good. <laughs> but I know I wouldn't be able to hold it. So, it's like for the best that we don't know. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. This is, what is it? Bats? Is it, wait, is blue bats or is blue ghosts? What is blue again? Uh oh, I forgot what blue meant. Wait, was it green? Green being bats? Uh oh, whoa. Oh my god. Wait, oh! <gasps> No. Oh no. It's like 11 p.m. It's almost 11 p.m. and we, we just need to get to one level. We're at um, floor 59. Let's at least try to get to floor 60. That way we can save the progress there. Please, 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 please. Please don't die. 
Uno. Okay, just one more level. Just one more level. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, one of these. One of these turn into stairs. Or ladder, ladder, stairs. No, no, not here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. Wait, I think it kind of loops all the way around. So maybe we can... Oh no, it's 1120. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why does time travel so fast, chat? I've been feeling it this month. Um, like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I just feel like time has been flying so quickly. Oh, please, please. Just one more level. That's all I want. No, no. Ooh. Come on, just one, one more level. One more level. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Oh my god, oh my god. Eat a snack, eat a snack. Please, please, please. I just... What? No, oh, we got a diamond. Okay. 1220. Please, please. If I pass out, I'm okay. Uh... Maybe. Oh no. Please, one of these has to be, one of these has to be, uh... Come on, come on, no. Oh my god. No, not like this, not like this. I just need one, I just need, I just need to go down one more level. I just need to go down one more level, please. Oh my god. <laughs> one more level, please. Here? No. Here? No. Here? No. Oh my god. I think this is what the fortune said about... Like, it's too late for me to run back, so I gotta commit. Oh my god, I think this is what the weather meant by the spirits are angry, and we're probably not gonna have good luck. Please, 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 please. Oh no. I'm gonna pass that chat. No. 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 Come on. Where the, where's where's the ladder? Where's the ladder? No. <laughs> oh, I was one floor away. Oh my god. Level five mining trees of perfection. Plus one or per vein or geologist. Chance for gem to appear in pairs. Hmm. Or per vein? Or gems? I feel like gems might be the better one. Because once we get high enough level, ore will be plentiful, right? But gems... Long run gives you more money? Geologists for money? Sell gems for riches? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because like we've gotten to the point where iron is pretty plentiful. We've already gotten plenty of iron. So I think geologists, because gems... We want like the the sm the already small chance of getting gems. We want it to get even better. That's what I'm thinking. Iridium ore is more valuable than most gems. Gems will give you more money. Gems give good gifts. <gasps> oh no! I can get one for me and the one for the museum. But mm, iridium? That that seems like super late game stuff. <laughs> I kind of want to go for geologist because of the gems. Because I think, like, we can use the, the gems for... Gifts, I guess? You can't... You can change it later? <gasps> oh, you can change it later. Oh. Okay. Weather for tomorrow. Clear, sunny. Fortune teller. Today is... Oh. <laughs> Hmm. Very displeased. Okay, let's not go into the mines again. <laughs> Shin Wee Wee. Someone dropped you off at the clinic last night. You passed out from exhaustion. Better take care of yourself and go to bed reasonable hour. I've built you 241 gold to cover your medical expenses. <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. <gasps> wait, I forgot. Oh no, wait, chat. You guys have to be on the other side. Let me get you here. And then... There we go. 
Oh, wait, let me scoot you to snugly into the corner. There we go. Yeah. Okay, 240, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, oh, wait. Wait, hold up. Oh, my inventory's full. Okay, okay. Oh, no. Why does it always end up that in games like this, my inventory management becomes absolutely terrible? Because... <laughs> I just want everything, chat. I want to hold everything. I want to become a hoarder. Well, not become. Uh, like, because well, because I think I actually am. I just want to become a more efficient hoarder, you know. <laughs> in Stardew, in Minecraft, in like every single game. Wait, hold up. Uh, wait, why am I back inside? Watering can. That's right. Gotta make sure Puniko has water. I want you to indulge in the hoarding more. Man! Oh! <laughs> Wait a minute. Didn't we have a. Oh, that's the tapper. Tapper here, tapper here. Okay, okay. <sighs> I'm excited about the rest of this month, chat. Is there an auto sort button? I forget. Organize? Hmm. Doesn't feel organized. Organize. <laughs> There's just too much stuff. I just have too much stuff, chat. Thought about planting any fruit trees? Not yet, because we can't afford them. Fruit trees are like... What was it? Like 6,000 gold? It was way too much. Yeah, the disorganized chaos just became slightly organized chaos, but... We need more boxes to hoard. I want there. Okay, so... Is there a way to hook up the boxes so they all share the same inventory? Because I, I want to, I want to use boxes to like organize things, but individually, each of the boxes feel like they have such little capacity that I, I get frustrated with it. Oh, you gotta use mods, darn it, man. I wish we could get permissions for mods. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here today. <gasps> Let's go. 10 chests for everything. Ooh. <gasps> Worms. You can put signs behind them. <gasps> no way. Oh, we're gonna make like a thousand gold tonight, chat. Wait, why why are there so many? Oh my god. Oh <gasps> money, money. That's so much. And there's silver stars too. Look at that. Yo, it's gonna be good. We're gonna make lots of money. Fun fact you can have pet sea urchins. <gasps> Aww. I kinda wanna pet a sea urchin. I wait, chat. I I've seen uh like more shorts from like marine biologists and all that. Uh who have like sand dollars? Like can, wait, can you have sand dollars as pets? Because they're like they just kind of vibe, don't they? Like I I'm sure you can. Cuz like they're they're alive and they just kind of like chill? I don't think they do anything, do they? I'm imagining, like, maybe if you have, like, a big tank with a lot of sand and, like, one side that's kind of sloped to water, you could have sand dollars as pets. And I'm wondering, like, has anyone ever tried that? Hmm. They just kind of lay there until they want to move. Exactly. They're alive? Yeah, sand dollars are alive. Well, the majority of sand dollars that you see on the beach, unfortunately, are the ones that are dead. Their bodies kind of wash up on the shore after they've died. But uh, living sand dollars have like these tiny little, uh, 
I, I wouldn't call them hairs. They're more like tiny, tiny spines that like ripple around the top of the bodies that, you know, help them move around. And they're alive. It's really cute. Bristles. Yeah, that's a good word for it. Bristles. Yeah. You can go like look up videos of living sand dollars. They are so cute. There's something about animals with without faces that I think is really cute. And I don't know why. Right, they're really fuzzy. They look they look super cute. Like I want to pick one up and then just kind of like let it walk on my arm. I think they'd be really adorable. I speaking of animals without faces, um one of my dreams, chat. One of my dreams. Way, way off in the distant, distant future is if I ever get a chance to, I would love to raise jellyfish. I want a tank of jellyfish because they, they're they just really cute. They just kind of vibe. And if you see like videos of people who have jellyfish aquariums and tanks, they don't really do anything. They just kind of sit there and they let the current carry them around. So they just kind of like spin in like soft, gentle circles. <laughs> it's like the cutest thing ever, and I'm just like, man. Oh, to be a jellyfish. Right, the glowing ones, yeah. They don't have brains either, right? Yeah, they don't. Okay, let's go ahead and sell this. Sell the coral, sell the grape, sell the cone, clam. What else do we have? Coral, sea urchin, double sea urchin. Yeah. I think also, uh, I saw some videos of a guy who has jellyfish, and um, he feeds them, what were they? Like, brine shrimp, I think. Yeah, I think it was brine shrimp. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so he has like all these like super super tiny brine shrimp that he feeds the uh, feeds the jellyfish and you can kind of see the jellyfish like the inside turn orange as they eat the brine shrimp and it's really cool to see them like um, soak up the brine fish and then consume them because the bodies on the inside turn like a slight shade of orange as they start eating the brine shrimp and it looks really cool. Imagine a jellyfish wall in your house. I want to. I was talking with some friends about it, and they were like, yeah, the um, the most difficult part about raising jellyfish is that like they, the climate has to be very carefully controlled. Um, it's not like, a, for example, like cats or dogs, you know, where you kind of have to give them stimulation and like mental enrichment. Because jellyfish don't have brains, they just kind of vibe. But in order to vibe, the water temperature, the pH, the, the salinity, and all that like has to be very carefully controlled. So like that's where the focus is um, when you're raising those. And I don't know, though, but they look really cool. Also, like every single one of the um, uh, like videos of jellyfish that I see people have, they have like tanks with a whole bunch of LEDs. And because the jellyfish don't have eyes, they don't get bothered by like bright flashing LEDs. So like, you just have a nice little LED shining on jellyfish with the jellyfish kind of float around there and spinning in circles while glowing and shining different colors. It's really cute. A jellyfish rave, yeah. It's kind of high maintenance. Yeah, that's right here. And if I had the chance to, like my dream, my dream would be to have an aquarium that circles the walls of my room so that so there's a little slight current so like the you know like imagine a room and if you look up you see like the corners of your room how they make that little square right but like imagine that but there's like a little circuit of water like a huge tank a ring shaped tank in your walls where the jellyfish kind of float through. Sky Shield, thank you so much for the super. If I remember correctly, there's a breed of jellyfish that are practically immortal and go through life cycles like a polyp to full jellyfish. Yeah. I think they are generally immortal. Like, they don't die from age, they die from like injury or getting eaten, but not from just time. Sounds expensive, yeah. 
I think it'll be easier for me to, uh... It'll be easier for me to, like, recreate it or, like, learn how to make it in, uh, Unity for VRChat than it is to actually have that IRL, sadly. <laughs> oh, wait, hold up. We got a reward for this, right? Yeah. Oh, night on Eco Hill Furniture. Nice. Let's offer it to the jellyfish and you got a jellyfish jam. Aww. Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Ooh, a hundred energy? A hundred energy. Archaic bro, thank you for the 11 months. Here's the funny reliable IC provider in the future moving out that doesn't practically charge you for breathing. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I hope so. Fingers crossed. Thank you, thank you. Blobble, thank you so much for the six months at Navigator. Thank you, thank you. Got us in with hundreds of stingless gold jellies the last year. Oh. <gasps> That must have been one amazing experience. No way. That's so cool. I want to swim with jellyfish. Thank you so much for your the membership. Wait, Chad, I kind of want to buy a bunch of ice cream. It's a hundred energy. That's a lot of energy. Okay. How, how do I talk to you? without giving you the gift inadvertently. Oh, dart. Okay, left click is give gift. Wow. <laughs> Farming sounds so boring. What do you even do all day? Uh, wow, that's rude. Um, uh, I, I dig for treasure. Sounds like a lot of work. Oh. Okay. Fine, be that way. Give me back my stone. Man. Haley's just like that, I guess. <laughs> ah, well. We. Snooping you around your room? It sounds a little creepy, though. Don't overwork yourself, or you might end up in Harvey's clinic. <laughs> <laughs> that happened to us last night. How is everyone doing? Is it just me, or does Abigail look a little pale? Oh? Hi. Need something? Uh-oh. <gasps> Cookie! Thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Can I get some hearts and Jeff for the gifted memberships? Thank you, thank you, Cookie. All right. Gotta go for this. 10,000. 10,000. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I kind of... Hmm. I... Uh, it's still the 6th. It's still the 6th of summer, so it's not, like, too late. I wonder, like, is it... Hmm. We already have tons of blueberry, though. Takes six days to mature. Plant these in the summer or fall. Takes four days to mature. Harvest with scythe. But I think we need uh, a mill, right? We need a mill to turn wheat seeds into flour. So we can't. We don't have that yet. Although I like the idea of it. Melons are good. Cello, thank you for the one year. Happy Lunar New Year. Wish you healthy and happy every day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okoidi, okoidi. Thank you so much for being the membership. Thank you. Should I? We. Hmm. Takes 12 days to mature. We could bring it down to 11 days with fertilizer. Could also do tomatoes. Ah, oh, so indecisive. Peppers. Five days to mature. Wait, does uh does fertilizer round up? So when fertilizer increases your growth speed by 10%. 
and it takes five days to mature, it would shave off half a day for 10%, but does that round up to one full day? So it would only make it grow in four days? Or does it not have an effect because it's so small and it rounds down instead? Because we could just spam peppers. Just lots of peppers. <laughs> I guess I'll find out. I guess I'll find out. Wait, but then... Hmm, we don't even have that many sprinklers. No. Must resist. Must resist. Wait. Ah, excuse me. Sorry. Can't decide either, so I just get one of each in Farming Sims. <laughs> I want to get a whole bunch, but then I realize, like, if I do, I'll be using up my energy, which I want, should be saving up for preparing the, like, organizing the farm and going into the mines. Because we don't have enough copper to begin with to make the sprinklers. How many copper do we have? Two copper ore? But any actual, like, copper ingots? I don't think we have any ingots anymore, do we? Can we sell some of these things? Hmm. Apparently I do have a whole bunch of melon seeds. Jagoine? Clay? Soggy newspaper? Community? What? Huh? Summer foraging bundle? Wait, what? Wait, you can a- oh. Wait, you can access this from here? I didn't know that. Oh, that's so cool. Because, like, it was shaking for a little bit. Okay. I don't think we need all this stuff here. Um, so... <laughs> okay, uh stone, we can we can sell that. Algae? We have the snacks, so we don't really need those. Earth crystal I'm gonna hold on to. I don't really know what I would I'm gonna do with these things yet. Cause we're not we already have donated one of them to Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sell these because I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and sell these because we already have donated a good chunk of them to the museum. And I don't have the recipes to take advantage of these. And I figure we can just get more. Except for the earth crystal, I think we want to hold on to that. Um, because we can just get more later on. Like saving this small amount is not gonna change too much of the game for us. <gasps> hip hip ray, thank you for the 11 months. Oh, quady, oh, quady. Almost one year. Wow, to think that this time I didn't even know what V2 was really were. Happy to be a koi. Thank you for the smiles here. The rest of the Hollisters brought me. Oh, Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for VIP the membership. Oh, koi, thank you for 11 months. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I can't wait to see what we do in the future. There's going to be a lot more, more kind of craziness, more fun, wild ideas that we have planned. The boys and I are also cooking lots of things, so keep your eyes peeled. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to sell them. I'm just going to sell them because they're just sitting there not doing anything. Wait, have I already donated? Yeah, I think I already donated these copies. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to do with them. Gold ore, we're going to hold on to that one, because that one's going to come in handy for tier 2 sprinklers. Mahogany seeds. I think solar essence we need for one of the rings, so let's hold on to that. Stones, we hold on to these. Clay, we'll get rid of those. Do you know who you're going to marry in-game? No. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> I 
<laughs> uh, a trash. Okay, let's get rid of let's let's sell these because we need space. I I just oh wait, wait oops okay amethyst sell cherry bomb don't need that sap trash bat wing slime tear oh, we actually do have a good chunk of copper ore refined quartz hold on to those sell this quartz uh winter root hold on to that crystal fruit potato potato yeah Yeah, finding out I didn't have to marry anyone in the game was honestly a game changer for me. I wish I could give Gunther gifts though. I want to be his friend. Aww. Yeah, like, I don't... Do Do I have to marry anyone? Do... it Like, how... What does it... What part of the game... Like, does it open up more parts of the game if I do marry someone? Like, if I don't want to marry, like, no. It's just for fun. They don't force you. A completely optional. Okay, okay. We'll... We'll see? I... <laughs> um... Wait, hold up. Not this one. Uh... <laughs> hey, Mayor. <laughs> the mayor opens up and there's just a bomb inside. That must be that must be kind of terrifying. I gotta keep the bloodline going. I I don't know, chat. I don't I don't feel the rush to like get into a relationship or marry. Like I'm I'm just I'm just happy, like just doing my own thing, you know? <laughs> I don't feel like a big need to like enter into relationships and, and get married with anyone. Even though they like, I'm sure they're like very sweet people, but like in my head, I'm just like, well, if it happens, it happens. You know, I I don't know about like going out of my way to try to find find a find a wife. I think the rest of this stuff I can hold on to, right? Let's go cook some of that copper. You can divorce them for 50,000 gold? 50,000 gold? Oh my gosh. Okay. I think everything that I could stack has been stacked. Okay, can I sell my sword here? No, I can't sell the sword, fortunately. <gasps> These are already done cooking. Man. I'm sure they're very sweet people. Meanwhile, Haley rejecting ice cream. <laughs> Have you tried using bombs for mining? No, I haven't. I haven't really considered doing that because I figure that it's like... uh, It just blows up in a big circle around it. I don't want to waste it too much. But I'd rather just sell it. Uh, okay. Hang on, hang on. Tools. Wait, wait. Sword, sword, sword. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Does what's used for mining. I use bombs for mining all the time. It helps find the stairs quicker. Okay, okay. I'll have to remember that and keep that in mind next time. Chat, can I throw away the sword? Can I sell it, or can I throw it away? Uh, tools. Keep tools in here. Mel, thank you so much for the super. Reminds me of a game journalist who plays Stargate with his daughter. Tried to tell her about how cool his farm is and all the automation was, and she's like, Yeah, but does anyone love you? Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. <laughs> oh my god, that's... That's kind of savage. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, imagine if it was just like, this is why Bob left. <laughs> or something like, just absolutely critical hit like that. Okay. 
<laughs> Wait, no, that's too mean. That's way too mean. Copper ore. Okay. Okay, cook one more. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Glowstone ring. Iron bar and solar essence five. Solar essence. Oh, five and iron bar. Let's go. Wait, what is that? Fence times 10? Lasts longer than a stone fence. Ooh. Increases your radius for collecting items. <gasps> Let's go. We finally have a glowstone ring. Ooh, that helps a lot. Most of the, the farm has already been kind of like covered in lights, so I can't really tell. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't accidentally cut the plants. Yeah. Oh, but this is really nice. This is nice, Chad. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's hope we have good fortune tomorrow. So that we can go do some mining. Hmm. Should also sell those. Where did my ice cream go? <gasps> where's my ice cream? Wait, where's my ice cream? Okay, there's my ice cream. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, can you just put them in your round of bards and crobs? Do the... I mean, do... Do the monsters, like, damage plants? Warrior being. Occasionally it fuses wear with warrior energy after slaying a monster. I... I... What is warrior energy? I, I don't know what warrior energy does. <laughs> it's like it infuses you with energy, like warrior energy. But what is warrior energy? Transmute copper bar. Don't want that. Sign. That's right. We were thinking about getting this thing. Mayonnaise machine. It's Baja Blast. Gives you the power of God and anime. <laughs> Turns vegetables into pickles and fruit into jam. Wait, that actually sounds pretty good, though. Vegetables? Pickled vegetables? Charcoal can. Turns 10 pieces of wood into one piece of coal. Oh. So, like, more reliable coal? Bee house, wood sign, furnace, staircase. Use this to move down. That would have been nice to have. That would have been very nice to have. <laughs> uh, do we even have that many that many stone? Let's see. Stone, stone, stone. How much stone do we have? We can have one. Okay, there's one. So, worst case comes to, like, worst case scenario, if we can't find it, we'll use it as an emergency. But yeah. One time use, though, yeah, unfortunately. Okay. Sword, copper pickaxe. Do I really need this slingshot? Do I really need a slingshot? Because all the time that we've been fighting inside the mines, we haven't really needed a slingshot. Because you can just run up to things and whack it with the with the sword. Nah, probably not. Probably not. We'll turn it into more staircases. Cutlass, scythe, bamboo pole, hoe, watering can, rusty sword. You know what? Let's just get a few more. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll probably won't use the slingshot. Okay. I think we're good to go. Let's see, these are good. Uh trees are growing well. I guess we can go ahead and just like use up some of the energy that we have since we're gonna be full up tomorrow. To just collect a few more stone around here. 
Slingshot takes too much time to use. Yeah, because you have to pull it back and like charge it up before you can fire uh fire the stone. It's probably not. Oh, I should have gotten my axe too. The trees are treeing. They are being good trees. Okay, let's get the axe. Alright, let us clear out some of these areas. Ooh, there's a big chunk of areas here. I don't think I can break this yet, right? No, not yet. Fun fact, if you have a workbench surrounding chests, all eight tiles, pull items from the inventory. Oh, wait! That's really good! That's kind of what I'm looking for, chat. Like, I'm looking for a way to, like, make sure I can access all the inventory of, uh... Of my, like, storage, I guess, just in general. Oh, that's really nice. Remone, hello. I was able to buy the Butler VP listening to it. It was so nice. Thank you for blessing with your session. With uh, thank you for blessing us with your work. Of course, of course. Thank you so much for purchasing it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the super. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it so much. The boys and I have been having a wonderful time recording these. I want to do more. I want to push for more. The enemies will be zooming as you aim. Right? And like, I don't know. I, I kind of want to, I wanted to keep it as like a just in case thing, but like the just in case moment never actually arrived. So I'm just kind of, eh. Don't think I really need it. Everyone is in shambles with the butler artwork. <laughs> Ah, we have some amazingly cracked artists working on these projects. Wow. It's really nice. They're incredible. I love voice packs. I wish you could do more. I kind of want to do more. But I want them to be also just... Like, not, not specifically... Um... Holiday related. I want them to also just be, like, silly voice packs. Although I think if I wanted to do that, I might just have to go through those, like, do the silly voice packs on my own. All right. Oh, wait. Pet, pet, pet. Okay. Tomorrow's weather is clear and sunny. Fortune. Oh, wait, this is today's fortune, right? Okay, we'll have to find out tomorrow. Nap time. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that. <clears throat> oh, 6,000. That was so much from the ocean, from the beach. And then like a chunk, like we finally sold off all the junk that we didn't really need. <laughs> what was worth most? The ornamental fan at 300? No, it was a. F <laughs> it was the 53 bat wings at 800 gold that was the most. It was the 53 bat wings. Why did we have so many bat wings? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's go. <gasps> okay, fortune teller. Spirits are very displeased today. They will make their best to make your life difficult. Darn it. Why, why'd you have 53 bat wings? Because like, we kept killing them and then I just didn't want to sell them. So I put them in different boxes. So I had like 53 spread across multiple boxes. <laughs> Greetings. It is I, the queen of sauce. Shouldn't we sell seashells by the seashore? Shy Violet, thank you for the supa. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we should try like doing a like a tongue twister. Wait, wait, wait. That's a that's that, that could be a fun idea. Hang on, tongue twister stream. Tongue twister stream. That's kind of cute. <gasps> Just like a random thought. Tongue twister voice pack. <gasps> Ooh, could do that too. All right, today's mouth-watering dish is oh, baked fish. Hopefully it's not koi. 
Whenever I make this one at home, my two cats go bananas. Make a second shift for about I need a second shift just to keep them hopping on the counter for a bite. Make sure the fish is fresh, probably caught with your own rod. Now watch as I press the fish. Place the fish on the bread. Baby, baby, baby. Place the fish on a bed of spring greens. Baked fish. Ooh. Uh. Uh. Wait. I don't have a kitchen. <laughs> I don't have a kitchen, so I can't can't do anything. <gasps> Demetrius, hey! I have good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough of my research at the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know the empty cave over there a little ways to the west? Well, I have a way to turn to something useful. For both of us. I like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way, I can observe them in a more controlled environment. And you can harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave or attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. Ooh. Mushrooms. Bats. Mushrooms. Bats. What would I do? What would I do with fruits? So if I do, I'll like occasionally get some mushrooms. Occasionally get fruits. Mushrooms, 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 mushrooms. I see a lot of mushrooms in chat. Mushrooms. What mushrooms? Mushrooms. Fruit bats are harmless. You should go for mushrooms. Okay, it looks like. <laughs> It looks like mushrooms. It looks like everyone's going for mushrooms. I see a whole bunch of mushrooms. Okay, I'll set it up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my goodness, that's right. The the whole mushroom, 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 mushroom. Badger, badger, wait. Badger, 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 badger. Mushroom, mushroom. It's a badger, 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 badger. Mushroom, mushroom. <laughs> okay, let's go put that away. I... can I? Wait, is there a way to like clip this? I wanna... wait. Okay, this is gonna be... this can be risky, let's see. Very carefully. Carefully just trim away. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't want to hurt the plants, but they were like growing so close to each other. I wasn't, I wasn't sure if it would be safe. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Number one, let's go to the beach and see if we can forage for any shells. Very bad luck. So going into the mines would probably be a bad idea unless we just want to get that level five. Because we may end up using the entire energy bar just trying to move down a couple of levels. Should we? I mean, we do have the staircases, so... I guess we can. Let's just go into it. Let's just go. Where's the snake? Is there a snake? I can see he's getting triggered by the plot placing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ooh. What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's just debris. Okay. Clams. Shells. Are there any... Ooh. Coral. Nice. Coral. Coral. Not so much this time. Pretty empty today. Steamed clams. It's been a while since I've had seafood chat. Have you seen the traveling merchant? No, not yet. I don't think I remember. Have we? Have we met the traveling merchant? I don't think so. 7,000 gold. 7,000. I want to buy a tree, but I also want to resist because I want to save for the backpack. You know what? Let's just go into the mines. We have a full, we have an almost full energy bar. Plus we have all the staircases, so it should be fine. Have we seen the hat mouse? We have! We have seen the hat mouse. It was really cute, very small. Steamed hams. Come here, we have a lot of seafood for being an island city. 
KH Hodge, hello. Thank you so much for re-upping the membership. Oh, Quiddy, thank you for the eight months. Oh no, I said steamed hams. <laughs> I could you can you actually steam ham? Oh, Quiddy, oh, Quiddy. Can you actually steam ham? I I feel like it would be kind of gross if you steamed ham. Like, what would steamed ham be? Like, because if you cook ham properly, it's already kind of moist. So, like, you don't need to, like, steaming it wouldn't do anything, would it? Moist ham. I mean, if you, like, cook it properly, it's still going to be fine, you know? Think spam. Speaking of spam, uh, it's so expensive nowadays. I'm so sad. A moist towelette. Oh! Wait, the music is kind of nice. I like this cave music. He's nice, chat. The whole ham. Because in my head, I'm imagining like, uh, like a Thanksgiving ham, like those comical, like giant cuts of ham that are like huge slabs. In my mind, that's what I see, you know? Ah, oh, the music is nice. It's amazing for studying. That's what I should probably do. I should probably study to like start your music. When I'm working, I'll have it just in the background. Yeah. Ooh. You know, there's actually quite a lot of geos from this place. I was about to say, study what? Oh. <laughs> uh, it's... I, I wouldn't say it's like idle studying thing, but it's just like studying content creation stuff. Um, like... Streaming styles and... What, like, how to, like, work on your on your channel as a creator and all that kind of stuff, like, that, that kind of studying. So it's not like studying for school, thankfully. Goes to streamer university. I wish there was like a streamer university like that. That'd be so nice. Uh oh, okay, maybe we don't actually have the energy because we've only gone down two levels and we're already like below half. I would love to go. Can always study and learn new things. Yeah! I think one of the big things is like, no matter how old you are, you should always keep looking forward to studying more things and learning cool stuff about people and the world. Oh yeah, excuse me. Alright. I know the ladder was down there to the lower left, so let's do a quick sweep here on the upper... Ooh! Oh, they're so cute! He says, immediately before killing them all. Okay, I don't think there's anything up there. <gasps> oh, bat time, bat time. All right, give me your wings. I want, I want 53 bat wings again, like last time. Give me your wings. Give me all of your wings. <laughs> Yeah, uh, PewDiePie, I think, recently made, uh, was, uh, made a tweet, or a video, I think, about how he had, like, practiced drawing for a hundred days straight and, uh, like, made some really big improvements, just dedicating the time and energy into practicing that one thing, you yeah? know? Like, it's, it's kind of crazy, because 100 days feels like both a very long and a very short amount of time. I made a tweet like real sh uh, quickly, like shortly after I watched it. Like, that's one third of a year. And when I say it that way, like one third of the year, it sounds like a lot, right? But here we are having already gone through one whole year and now it's already February, you know, like the middle of February. So it feels like a lot, but then like when you're in the thick of it, I, I don't know, like, it feels like, also, paradoxically, it's a long time, and also not a very long time. It's kind of wild. No limit to start learning something new, it opens your mind. Exactly. I... I have one big problem, though, chat. 
My problem is that I can't commit. <laughs> I still have, like, lingering commitment issues. Ooh, lucky. Oh. So, like, I'm just like, I want to learn all these things, but I know I don't have the time for it. So, I think what I want to do is this year is the year that I end up committing. And I... I think one of the best ways I can trick myself into committing to something is by, like, gaslighting myself into believing in the future potential of something, you know? And what I mean by that is this year... Wait, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me open. Let me open. How do I open this? Is it already open? I guess it must have been already unopened. Um... I think this year I want to learn Unity. And the reason why I want to learn Unity is I can use that skill to build worlds in VR chat that we can use for our 3D. So I can join with Axel and Altair using the low poly model while Axel and Altair have like their official because they're all fancy and look at look at the boys with their 3d official 3ds and all that right but like we can join them and like do things in 3d right so if i tell myself you know like this is this is a skill that oh perfect why couldn't i have gotten this yesterday like <laughs> why now i thought today was supposed to be a bad luck day <laughs> The game is just mocking me at this point. <laughs> oh, it's a terrible day. The spirits will do everything they can to make your, your day difficult, right? And just, really, seriously, on the... Man. Oh, Another sword. A crystal dagger. Level four dagger? 4 to 10 damage, so that's... Okay, so 4 to 10 damage. We do about half. A little less than half, like 40%. 2 crit chance. 50 crit power? Plus 5 weight. What does that, what does that weight mean? Plus 5 weight? Wait, let, let's see how fast it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, that's... That's really fast. <laughs> I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. This chin stabbing tub again, right? Shanking is back on the venue. Okay, 8 p.m. Okay, let's... We're gonna cheese it this time. You can't block with the dagger? It looks like you can, but there's like the cooldown is like much, much... Much, much longer. Oh, wait, that's not even a... That's not a block. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, this is a left click. Like a single stab. And then a right click is a... Like a triple hit? Like, like three quick... Like, three quick stabs. And then this is swing versus block. Oh, they have, like, different alternate attacks. All right. Let's go, let's go shank a few things. <laughs> Ooh. What is this? Oh, two diamonds. Look at that. Our passive bonus is getting is coming in play like in coming in clutch. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, <gasps> no way! That's so cool. What's a lead rod? <laughs> what? Where are we getting these? How did we get eighteen to twenty-seven? Oh, that is very slow. 
Oh, that's very slow. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it kills bats in a single hit. Oh my goodness. Oh, you can like double hit with... Oh. Okay, wait, we're gonna cheese this. Because, uh, yeah, it's it's almost 11 p.m. And I don't think I have enough stamina to just dig my way. So let's just look for our ore. And if we can't find it, we just we just go. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> here we go. Here we go. This is what I want. Get some iron from here. Get some iron from here. We can't see the level now. It's at 63. We are on the 63rd floor. Ooh, wait. Okay, this is kind of... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. It's a little bit more... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. It's a little bit clunkier to use because of the short range. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe we use the club instead. Oh jeez, please don't die, please don't die. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, it's it's almost midnight, it's almost midnight. It's almost midnight, but we're, we're so low on everything. Okay, scoop, scoop this, wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, quick, 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 just cheese it, just cheese it. Nice. All right, let's go back home. <laughs> Time to go home. Run. I like the fact that this does so much damage, but the speed. I don't know. I don't know, chat. I think I might just stick with the, the sword. Wait, hold up. Wait, no. Chat, rem chat told me that there's a faster way by going up, right? This way? I, 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 if I remember correctly, this way is like supposed to be faster. I, I really like weapons that do a lot of damage, but only if they meet the threshold to one-shot things. If they can't one-shot a monster, then like like that. Like I don't like that. It takes so long to swing. Three hits though, that's not too bad. Three hits isn't too bad. Okay. Aww. <laughs> Okay, real quick, a refresher for tomorrow. Clear and sunny. All right. Oh. Wait. Wait, can I? There we go. Oh, cute. Did you water Puniko? Yeah. I think so, maybe? Ooh. Greetings, Shinweeby. It is our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up and coming column of Stardew Valley Tribune. Congratulations! We're impressed with your quick progress. <gasps> yeah! Let's go! We did not make any mini. Ooh! Ooh! Look at them growing, Chad! Let's go! Okay. I don't think I'm good enough at the game yet to play with the dagger. Lead rod, way too slow. I, I, I guess I'll just keep the sword for now. Because the knockback and just the sweeping range of it is what's keeping me alive. Okay, for now we put all of these away. Frozen geode. Topaz. Let's get some more geodes eventually. Going to be bad leader means less stamina. No. Why? Why is it so realistic? <laughs> why is it so realistic? I just want to farm. Okay. This time, let's take some food with us. Uh, do we have copper? I thought we had some copper. We have copper bars, but we don't have anything to cook. So let's get these cooking. I went to bed at 3, woke up with full stamina at 10 a.m. I see, I wish I could just do that. Like, that's what I want. Okay. 
let us go chat sleep is for the week that's why i'm going to sleep now see you when i see you cold thank you for stopping by <laughs> hope you have a wonderful night get lots of good rest good eats good dreams wish you could wake up with full stamina irl same ever since i hit like maybe 28 I think like once I hit 28, I just never had like a fully well-rested sleep. And I, I, I've been like searching for that feeling again, Chad. How did I, how did I do that? Like as, as a, as a kid, how did I do that? Waking up at 6 a.m. every single day, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, ready to take on the world make like a 20 minute walk to school. And it's just like, how? How did I have the energy for that? You know? No stressors. The days when you can stay up late and wake up early, right? Man, those were the days. Those are the days. Parents woke us up and trade us. Maybe, maybe that's what, I, we, that's what we need now. Getting gold as a two. That was me by 23. I don't know, Chad. Maybe, maybe, is it one of those things where, like, they were right? Like, I, you, you have to do the go to sleep early and you can't browse anything on TV or you're not allowed to use your phone in bed, things like that. Hey, Haka. Hello, Hakitos. Koinichiwa, welcome, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful stream. Kaka, hello. Hello, hello, Koinichiwa. <gasps> the nice music again. <sighs> hello, Hakitos. Hey, Aka. You having a good day? Good streams? Yeah. Nice. Love to hear that. Age is catching up to us. <laughs> oh, this is nice. This is really nice. I like this music. Oh, lucky. We found the ladder. Let's go. Drawing Zatsu was cozy. It was silly. Silly. Okay. Ooh. What kind of things did you draw? I hope you were uh, keeping the idle dream alive, not drawing anything sussy, right, Haka? <laughs> Jimmy, do you eat the koi's wonder? What? No, I wouldn't eat the koi's. Drawings that's to traumatize me. What kind of what? What were you guys? What did you draw that traumatized the Hakitos, Haka? What did you do? <laughs> what what were you drawing that traumatized the Hakitos like that? Ah, <laughs> uh, I want to do another drawing stream one of these days. Ah, oh, the music is so nice. Buff Haka season two. Haka's gonna eat you. Uh oh. It's okay, Haka can't, uh, Haka can't fly. He can only jump. Kui, we give the super. Just got the mutinous thing, yeah, how did I do you sleep? It was all right. I don't know if it helped my sleep quality, but it does help my breathing quality. Like, I can inhale, it just feels really nice to inhale. Um, sleep quality-wise, I think I may have to use it for a little bit more because there's a lot of factors that contribute to, like, quality of sleep, so hopefully, like, after, like, a week of good use, uh, I'll have some more, more, like, data that can be like, okay, this is what contributed to the good feels of the sleep. But just using it normally, oh my god, it's so nice. He can jump really high. Exactly. It's even on his, uh, official bio on our website. He can't fly. He can only jump really high, so... Hakitos, as long as you... Ooh, oh my god, that's so much stuff. As long as you stay up in the air, he can't get you. <laughs> no more big snores. I can't tell, because I'm, I'm usually out 
like I can't tell if I snore or not. Um, I usually do not record myself when I'm sleeping, aside from that one, one video that I made. It's okay, Hakitas can't fly either. <laughs> Hakitas a little round, like, like little round stress balls. I want to say they look very, they look like they're like squishmallow type things, you know. Rotund, yeah. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe I'll do another one. Just record myself and be like, okay, let's see if I if I do snore now or not. We grow in size at will. <gasps> another set of ladders, let's go. I'm making solid progress today. We're currently on floor 68. Yeah. Wait. There we go. <gasps> Back. Coal. One more floor to the funny number. Yeah. One more floor. But I'm gonna skip it because hey. No no funny number for chat. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's a mm, I don't know if that's wait, no, there's there's I see I see some lead or iron. I see some iron. <gasps> There's two iron. Yeah. Okay, let me let me just take care of these monsters real quick. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man. I am so looking forward to the day I am ever able to move out. To have like a big room that I can just set aside for VR chat. So we can walk around and just do silly things. Yeah. All right. Floor 69. We're just going to skip it. <laughs> Ooh. No, it's another slingshot. Wait. Wait, it's the master slingshot. Wait. Is there a difference between the slingshot? And the master slingshot? Is there a difference? Is it slingshot but cool? It... It looks... It looks like it does the same thing. More damage? Stronger? Uh... Let, let's try it. <gasps> Ooh. It's like a... Dungeon-y area. Oh! <gasps> Chad, Squirletons. Oh. Okay, I'm out of stone. I don't know. I don't know about that, chat. I think. Ooh. Prehistoric scapula? Bone fragments? I, I don't know about the slingshot. I'm still un unconvinced about the slingshot. <laughs> Let's go. I might just stick with the sword. It it just feels more consistent. <laughs> I'm sure the master slingshot is very nice and all, and it has a oh, ooh, can like it has a ranged attack. But yeah, this is that just feels much better. Be able to spam. I'm playing Stardew as I'm watching you play Stardew. Let's go. Who else is playing Stardew right now? Church, thank you. It's a slingshot with a high level of education. <laughs> thank you so much for the soup. Uh, it has a degree on a piece of paper that it was told by its parents, oh, you should go to college and get a degree. And then after it got the degree, the job market changed. And it's kind of like, mm, now this degree isn't really worth that much anymore. And now that's why this master slingshot was found in a cave. Too real? Sorry. <laughs> <gasps> that's a lot of iron. That's so much iron. Oh, that's so much iron. Let's get the iron. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. 
I don't know what song this is. I'm working on my masters now, please. <laughs> Do you know? <don't> <laughs> I wish you good luck. I wish you good luck. I am merely jesting. I am merely jesting. Slingshot straight to the heart. <laughs> oh man. No, I I I feel that too, chat. It's, it's a little real, but yeah, I feel it too. Okay. I like this room. It's like a star shape. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Good luck everyone, please get your dream job and be happy. Yeah, good luck to everybody. I wish you all the best. Do not give up. It is a difficult world. Difficult life out there. Not everyone's path is as... What was the thing again? Like, the, the, uh... It was like that meme where it's like, oh, people think the path to success is like a straight line, but it's not. It's really bumpy. It, it's a curvy. It jumps all over the place. And sometimes you have ups. You have sometimes you have downs. And other times you have periods where things just kind of stagnate and you're not really, you know, moving up or down. You're just kind of holding in a weird pattern, you know? But that's life. Also, as the once... Uh, as a very famous person once said, it is possible to make no mistakes and still lose. That is not a weakness, that is life. The great philosopher Jean-Luc Picard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not a philosopher, it's a fictional character. But still, the message hit, the message hits hard, you know? Oh my gosh. That episode was so good, though. And every now and then, I still kind of had to remind myself, you know. It, it's true. It is. It is absolutely possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. It's not a weakness. That is life. Yeah. Let's go! Floor 75. He's real to me. <laughs> he was like a really good inspirational figure. A role model, I guess. Um, back when I didn't really have that many role models. Oh, wow. Look at that. That was lucky. <gasps> There's so much iron. Wait, I think we had to... Oh... I think we have to go back, because we're, we're getting way too much iron. We don't have enough copper for anything. We. There we go. There's too, there's too much iron, not enough copper. Okay, no, we don't have time to- we don't have time to fight. Let's see if we can make it to the next floor. The car is the best captain. I've actually not seen the other ones to the same degree that I've watched The Last Generation. So... Ooh, I don't think we have time. No, probably not. We don't even have the energy, so I don't think we can... I think we should just head back. You know, sit down and watch Star Trek again. Good series. Pretty lousy episode in the early seasons. I think, like, one... The, um... A yeah, a couple were definitely misses. Um, but... Overall, I think they just did very good... Uh... Like, morals of the stories of each of the episodes, I think they were very well done. And the messages still hold true to, uh, to today. Ooh! Mysterious floor grapes. We'll take bows. Go. Run, run, run. The practical effects are crunchy, but it's still fun to like TNG better overall. Yeah! I haven't seen the other, the other ones are kind of like, um, oh, full inventory, darn it. Ah, we don't have time, we don't have time, gotta go, I don't want to pass out outside my house. Aww, cute. We'll say Deep Space Nice is currently my favorite Star Trek series, ooh. I, cause the one that I, I grew up with, or grew up with, I guess m most exposed to, is uh, the next generation. Tomorrow is clear and sunny. Fortune. 
Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Okay, not too bad. Ooh, yeah. Okay, first of all, I've got to empty our inventory by selling all of this. Iron ore, hold on to that. Ooh. Wait, sell the jade. Sell... Wait, hold on to that one. I want to hold on to all of it. I don't want to sell any of this yet. <laughs> okay, put these away for now. We have a good amount of... Keep one jade? Save the jade? Wait, can I pull it back? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll hold on to the jade. Omni geode. Uh, frozen geode. Do we have any more geodes? That's like seven items. Seven, so not too bad. Yeah. Alright. Build another chest. The problem is if I build another chest, it's just gonna have the same problem. It's all gonna become a mess. <laughs> it's all just gonna become a mess regardless. Grow well. Oh, we gotta give Punika water. We got that. Don't sell Omni Geode. Yeah, we're gonna hold on to that one. We're gonna crack it open um, by visiting Clint. Yeah, there we go. Toolbox. This makes everything a lot easier. Okay, Master Slingshot, we put that away. Okay, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, cave Carrots. Great, 53 energy, that's actually pretty good. I might just eat these instead. Hmm, Topaz? We can donate the scapula and the, I think one of the diamonds? We should sell the coral and I think we're good on that one, right? Yeah, I think we're good. A chest for stuff, chest for food, weapons. I could. That would be a good way to organize things. Okay, sell that. And I want to eat the rest of these. What season? We are currently in summer. The ninth day. So, like, the first one-third of summer? Get the habit of designating certain chests for certain items. Yeah. I think I'll just kind of... For now, we can kind of manage everything with those three. Don't think we need too many more. Okay, quick visit to the beach to forage for shells. And then by the time we're done foraging for shells, it should be time for Clint to open up shop. To donate once to the museum? No, not yet, but we have it right here. We're gonna go bring the diamond and the scapula. A cockle. A clam. Ooh. Chat. Have you? Is anyone else kind of scared of the ocean? Like, I'm a little bit scared, but also in awe of the ocean. P, hello. Thank you for joining the collective. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoy the channel badge and the emotes. And okay, let me let me tell you what came up. The reason why this thought came up to me is I saw a short, a YouTube short of this guy who's like, hey, have you ever wanted to see how dark it gets at nighttime on a cruise ship, right? And then the realization of, yeah, like when you're on the ocean, there are no lights. It is pitch black darkness there's no sun there's no moon like it's just so like you cannot see anything right i seen that right i think it was i think it was been going around i think there's a little bit of, uh, a little viral uh going around but it's insane like the sea at night is super dark right and, and just you know it's water but you just can't see anything you know Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Whoa. 
Oh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> just a black void, right? It's just terrifying, just like looking out and then you realize your eyes can't register anything. There is nothing there. Your like there isn't a landmark, there isn't a feature of the ocean that you can see. It's just empty black void, you know? Digital Scratch, thank you for this, uh, thank you for the membership. You still live on a small island with barely any lights. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's freaky, right? It, it's some kind of, um, like one of the sensory deprivation chambers where you just, there is no, there's nothing. There's no light to that bounces off anything to be like, okay, this is like, like you can't even tell if you're a level, you know, you can't even tell if you're looking at the horizon. Then and think of the super. Thank you, thank you. Just want to thank you for being my favorite yapper, even when I don't understand half the things you say. <laughs> thank you for the super. Thank you for the orange super chat. Thank you. Okay, we'll put these away here. Minerals kind of there. Gems, I think. Should we put the gems, like the shiny ones here? Wait. Can make it like orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, other purple, kind of pink, like a little rainbow thing going on. We don't have like a red gem yet, but we could almost get like a rainbow going on here. Ooh. Dark might be scary, but on the other hand, view of the stars would be amazing if there are no clouds. Yeah, that's true. Like, Oh gosh, if it weren't for the fact that the boat would be swaying constantly, you could probably get incredible night photos of the stars just because there is zero light pollution. Yeah, exactly. Singing stone rings out with the pure tone when struck. Ooh, Jade Hills. Ah, oh, let's go. Sorry, try to get it stretch real quick. Darush, thank you for the soup. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's go home. Like, every now and then, too, I just get the realization that the ocean is just a big bowl of chemicals. And the chemical is water. My nephew Shane has been staying at my place last few months. Oh. oh. Okay. He helps me out with the chicken, so I'm not complaining. Oh, nice. I was like, why? Why would you volunteer that information to me? <laughs> Sound of waves and pitch black remind me of whispers. Spooky. I love tasting big bowl of chemicals. The ocean's a giant mystery pot. It's, I don't know, just the idea of so much water being out there. I don't know, it, it just, it's a weird feeling. Okay, let's go put these away. Copper? Copper, oh, we got some copper. Let's go cook. Yeah. There we go. All right. It's noon. Should we? I guess we can go ahead and decorate our house because we have a few things that we could decorate our house with. Yeah. Good old Thalassophobia. I actually don't get that much thalassophobia. Um, like, for me, it doesn't really register. Like, the f water doesn't scare me. Um, as in, like, like, the deep water doesn't scare me. I think it's amazing. It's really nice. Uh, but what does scare me is just the scale of it. The scale is what scares me. Oh, 
Wait, no. How do you how do you hit it? Oh. 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 <laughs> Wait, wait, how fast can I click it? Matt Lavata, thank you for the one year. Imagine what they could be watching at night in the ocean, you couldn't see it, right? That's the spooky part, because you can't tell. Thank you so much for being for one year, thank you, thank you. Okwiti. I've been also seeing some um, clips of people like sharing videos of them out in the seas. There was this one where this guy was on a fishing boat, I think, and he hears these weird sounds, and everyone's like, Oh my god, that... That... Dude, those are sirens. Like, don't don't listen to them. Stop listening to them. They're not like they're trying to pull you into the the water. And it was kind of spooky. Hundred kg. Hello. Thank you so much for the twelve months. Okay, okay. Thank you for every yapping. Thank you so much. Sirens real? I like. I don't know though. That's a thing. We'll we. I don't think we'll ever know for certain because it's so difficult to explore. And that also means, like, how much of the world, I mean, almost 75% of it, right? We'll just never know because, like, it's just, it's so difficult to explore the oceans. Oh, cute. Man, there's too many stories about them to rule on as fake. I want to know, like, I, I just want to know, like, if I could go back in time and figure out who first maybe like wrote about those, you know, like wh who was the first person that wrote about sirens so that we can ask them like, hey, what do you mean by that? Like, what did you actually see? Tell me, describe me in as much detail as you can exactly what you saw. I want to know. Ocean scary, but petting ray is soft nice. I want a pet of stingray. Ocean ray, they seem really cute. I know the internet likes to call them sea flap flaps or sea pancakes. They seem very cute. Some people think it's a whale song. Ooh. Sound travels over water very well, so if you yell in the middle of the ocean, it carries far, especially if there's not many waves. <sighs> what if it's like the sounds of people like Maybe screaming for help or something. Actually, that's kind of morbid. Probably some down horrendous sailors. <laughs> I, th I think people have been trying to like put together the whole like, oh, you know, this is, here is what a manatee looks like. And if you were a desperate sailor during those times, you would see the manatee and be like, hmm, you know? Popping, hello! Thank you so much for joining the collective. Welcome, welcome! Okay. Susan Sucker, Snow Fox, thank you for the 10 months. 10 months of getting kind gifts from fellow Kois. Also, Puniko plushies due to come late February, March. Excited for my to come. Oh, are they shipping soon? Are they shipping soon? Ooh, I hope you all enjoy when you get the plushies. If you get them. 22nd? Ooh. Exciting, exciting. Do people get that desperate? Yes. Yes. Okay, wait, but here's the thing, chat. Here's the thing. Um, space travel now, all right? Space travel now is, like, is the parallel to ocean travel back then. Okay, like, you have to realize the scale of how long it took to go from one country to another country across the ocean, right? We are talking months, right? It's not like 
you get to fly out or like you know maybe on an airplane i don't know like if you're flying one direction on the globe it's like 17 hours at most maybe like that's probably the longest flight that you got right but that's still within a day right you you use it the whole day but like you can sit down you know watch tv or watch movies and just sleep and then you know you're done right but no we're talking about months longest flies 22 hours oh wow Aaron, hello thank you so much thank you for the one year okay okay thank you so much at navigated tier thank you thank you church thank you for the super Manatee theory makes sense when you remember that back then chubby or fat was considered peak beauty because it meant you were well fed. Yeah. Exactly. Just a little bit of nice chunk. Give a little squeeze. <laughs> but no, it's like you had to pack food for months, right? Imagine just spending like three months, I think. Was it three months? I, I think it was like three months. Like, imagine spending three months sitting there, just surrounded by other people, unable to take a shower. You like, it, it's like a cruise, but with none of the benefits of it. It's just a lot of people, a lot of sweat. Everyone has to work really hard to make sure the boat keeps going, right? And then you think about it, it's like, now, if people were to travel, space travel, it would take us. I think about three months, right? 70 days? Um, to travel from Earth to Mars, I believe. And even then, you can only travel in two very specific windows, I think, um, because of the way the orbits work. Um, if you miss the timing window, it makes it almost impossible to land because you increase the distance from like a couple, like, thousand miles a couple hundred thousand miles or like a couple ten thousand miles to like a couple hundred thousand miles so like just imagine that like what what would you have to prepare and like the things that you would see and hear like i don't know what if what if you're on a spaceship you're going to mars and halfway like in the middle of the trip right you're still nowhere near mars but you see like weird lights you see like something outside the spaceship kind of trailing and following you and you're like what is that and there's nothing you can do to communicate because it would take you like what a couple of hours to send a message and then wait for a response back i don't know it's kind of scary isn't it man i don't know like i like the idea just but it's always the scale you know Oh, cute. Space mermaids. Imagine, imagine that, chat. Imagine that. You are with a small group of people flying out to Mars. The mission is going to take three months. And in, it like, was it like a hundred? No, not a hundred. Uh, sorry, like, in like 50 days in, right? You hear singing outside. Like, you, you know it's not music because none of your crewmates are playing music, but you hear something outside, and the only thing your brain can register at, as is it sounds like someone is singing out there. Like, imagine, what would you do? What can you do? Isn't that terrifying to think about? It's, like, terrifying and, like, exciting, because, like, that could be what we see. That could be what we, like, encounter, you know? Probably tell me the reason that we have a war for scurvy is because sailors we consume chili pepper. Oh. That was like made it's a vitamin C deficiency, right? Detailed logs and don't fall for the temptation. If you remember that there was no sound in space. Right. Imagine that. Like you're not supposed to hear anything, but you do. Queen of the sauce, Rebun. Okay, fortune. Spirit seal neutral today. Day is in your hands. Oh, let's go into the caves. It took hours for the messages to move. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me. Dear Shin Wee Wee, tomorrow we're all gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. Highlight of the town, or highlight? Oh, yeah. 
Highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you're on your best behavior. Come to the beach sometime between 9 and 2 p.m. Ooh. Okay, but this time, I... This time, I, I know that events take up the whole day, so we're going to wait until like 1.30. We'll wait until like 1.30 to go to the event. That way we don't waste the entire thing in the, uh, in the day. Bring your best, best veggie? Veggie though? Uh oh, I don't think I have any veggies. Do I have veggies? These aren't grown yet. This mystery plant isn't grown yet either. Chat, I don't have a kitchen. I don't have a kitchen. How am I supposed to cook food for the potluck if I don't have a kitchen? <laughs> think a mushroom could work? Oh, that's right. We should go check on the mushrooms. Hang on, let me go cook this real quick. Oh, you don't cook for the pot? You can put anything in the pot? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. So I don't have to actually cook anything. Wait, can I just bring the crystal fruit then? Take the grapes? Okay, we'll save these for tomorrow then. Just bring a high quality ingredient. Ooh, I see, I see. All right, hang on. Uh... Never eat shredded wheat. West? Where the, where's the cave that Demetrius said he was going to get the things in? Where is it? Down and then left, right? Should I go explore or should I just go to the caves right now because it's neutral? It's on your farm? Wait, is it? Ooh. Okay, let's go find it then. I just bring chips. My favorite thing to bring um, during kickbacks is actually just brie cheese and bread. Like, I don't think I've ever had anyone complain when I bring- Oh, this cave. <gasps> Mushroom. Mushroom. Slightly nutty with good texture. Let's go. But yeah, I always bring cheese and bread. Because you can never go wrong with cheese and bread. Because here's the thing. Whenever the people are like drinking and just having a good time. Cheese and bread. Oh. It, it just hits the spot. It hits the spot. A nice chunk of bread. Smear on a bunch of spreadable brie cheese. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh, what is that? Ah, oh, spice berry. Cute. Cheese bread and ham is my favorite. What is the bread? Oh, um, it's like usually just whatever cheap like loaf I can get. Um, sometimes it'll be garlic bread. Other times it'll just be like regular, like uh, not not like the sandwich bread, but not a baguette. It's the big one. It's the chunkier one. Like a. Uh, it's a baguette but chunky. I forget what it's called, but it, it's that one. Sourdough. Ooh, sourdough bread's good too. Chibata? Chibata? Maybe? Maybe chibata? Maybe that's the one with it. But yeah, it's, it's just like a nice, like, big, thick hunk of bread and some cheese. Brioche, French bread, one of those. <laughs> I don't quite remember. I just kind of grabbed it because it was like a big loaf of bread. It wasn't sliced, that's all as much as I remember. It's not the sliced ones. But gosh, those are so good. Bread, cheese. Ooh, nice. Oh, <gasps> lots of stuff here. Scoop. Sourdough bread with toasted almond butter and honey is so delicious. Oh, that sounds delicious. Brie and a croissant. Croissant. I want to learn how to make uh, pretzels specifically. I there's something about the tough 
like chewiness of a pretzel. Oh, it just sounds, it's so good. I, I, oh my gosh. If I can only make, if I could learn how to bake one thing, it would specifically be pretzels. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Pretzels or bagels? Like, I, I like that texture of bread. Chad, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like, the the slightly hard, tough... Hu toughness? Is that how you would describe it? But, like, pretzels and bagels both have that texture. And I really, really like that texture. Where it's, like, kind of tough and chewy, but it's, like, super soft on the inside. And they're both amazing toasted. Yeah, the low-key chew. Oh, I love that. I love that part. It's my favorite, so... If I ever get the courage to learn how to bake, it would be that. I would love I would love to bake those. You like old popcorn? I do. I also made I also said this, but I like kind of stale chips. And and chat was all like, shit me, that's gross. But like no, like it the slight chewiness of it is really nice. And like pretzels, just the entire thing has that chewiness. It's so good. Oh my god. Bagels boiled a little, pretzels lie bad. Lie? Lie? Wait, what? Isn't lie dangerous? I know lie, um, the only context that I know of lie is when you need to dispose of bodies, you put bodies parts in lie and it dissolves the organic compounds. Is what I've been told. Is what I've been told, chat. Um, wouldn't know that from personal experience, of course not. Um, you know, you know, it's a thing that they say. You know, Saku tends to me to really, really catch a line, but it came out on this. Hello, <laughs> Saku. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you for the super. But it's used for pretzels too. Oh man, I need to learn. I need to learn how those are made. A little set sprites. <laughs> Stale ice oatmeal cookies are where it's at though, nice and chewy. Oh yeah. I don't know, there's just something about the texture that I just really like. The consistency. I don't know, it's nice. Okay. 2 p.m. Energy is fine. Plenty of food. Be Gucci. Lies made from wood ash. Ooh. Lies using a lot of Filipino cooking. <gasps> Ooh. German pretzels use lies in dipping water, but it can be replaced with one fourth teaspoon baking soda with one teaspoon tap water to be safe. Ah. I I still don't really have that much um uh, that many ex that much experience with uh baking. I just I'm I'm more of a cooking dude. Not so much baking. <laughs> One day, one day chat, I will learn how to bake. I actually want to, um, when I move out, I want to give myself a little treat. And the treat that I told myself that I would buy for myself when I'm moving out is a uh, bread maker. I want to get myself a bread machine when I move out. But I want a very small bread maker. I want one that's maybe like half a loaf or like almost one loaf, but not quite, because I know I don't eat that much bread. Um, I, I don't eat that much uh, like sandwiches and stuff, right? But just the idea of having fresh bread as, as a treat, <laughs> oh gosh, no. Not the treat spam. But yeah, like I want to make a, a bread maker or I want to get a bread maker for myself. Yeah. Like nice, fresh toasted bread every single day. Oh, that'd be so nice. Where is the ladder? Wait. <gasps> what? Bone sword? Level five? The base damage? 12 to 25, 20 to 30, plus four speed? Oh, 
Where did this come from? Oh my god. Yo. We are lucky today. Oh my gosh. Where are we getting all these items from? It's amazing. Bone sword. Ooh, a bomb. Okay, 5 p.m. Mickey, I have the bone of my sword. <laughs> Thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. No way. We're so lucky today, chat. We're getting so many items. I feel a little sad that we can't really... Or, like, the... Some of the items that we did get immediately became... Oh my god, look at that. Oh, that was so fast. No way. Anything down here? There's one more monster. Oh my god. That's so fast. Lines which traditionally used to make pretzels, you dip them, bake them, and make them chewy. Light goes away after you bake them. Oh! I see, I see. So the act of baking makes it safe to eat. I want to. Am my eyes some bread maker that also mixes mochi? <gasps> Can you do that? I know some people have been getting very creative. Um, I've seen people make like cakes in pressure cookers or rice cookers. Ooh, please don't be a weapon. I already have a level five bone sword. Please don't be a weapon. Please be something else. Ooh, firewalker boots. What? Defense three, immunity three. Oh. <gasps> Let's go. Boots. Snazzy. What? What are these things? Oh. Okay, they're just like regular. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh. Look at that. There's some gold here. Oh my god. So much gold! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, wait. We we managed to find the gold, but... We don't even have the recipe for the tier 2 sprinklers yet. Oh, wait, let's keep going, let's keep going. It's 8 p.m. Oh my god, there's so much gold. There's so much gold and iron. What the heck? Ooh, you hustling. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Void essence. It's quivering with dark energy chat. Void essence. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. <gasps> There's so much gold. Oh my god, oh my god. Must upgrade your pickaxe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, de we definitely have to do that. Oh no, but the upgrading the pickaxe costs 5,000 gold. Should we? I think it's worth it though, right? Yeah, since we made it to this part of the uh, dungeon, the oh my god, there's so many. Ooh, <gasps> whoa. Ooh, oh my god, oh my god. Ooh. Okay, it's gonna cut. It's gonna. Oh gosh, it's gonna eat so much. Uh, let's eat the field snack. Eat. And that way we can replenish a few bits of energy. You might be underprepared for this. Oh no. No, it's okay, chat. I believe, I believe. I think we just need two more. We just need two more. Oh! What's that? Can I throw something away? Can I throw something away? I guess we can throw the fiber away. Magma Geode. Oh. Magma Geode. Okay, just one more. I just... Or two more, two more. Just two more floors. Oh, there we go. The sap? Throw the sap away? Okay, okay. We'll throw the sap away, too. And the fibers. And the sap. And the fiber. And the... Okay, you know what? Here, we'll, we'll throw it away later. <laughs> okay, sap. Fiber. Okay, there's a trash can specifically for that purpose. 
I'm too used to just throwing it out of my inventory. Like in Minecraft. Or other games. Yeah, we definitely need to upgrade to iron. Oh, that's gonna eat so much money though. Oh, you kind of... Nice. Okay. Ah, oh, it's gonna eat so much money. But it's gonna be worth it, it's gonna be worth it. Oh, yeah! There we go. Okay, let's get back out. Call it an investment. No. No, but I want that backpack. The backpack is 10,000. The upgrade for the pickaxe is 5,000. Oh. Wait, we can't even do it tomorrow because tomorrow is the... Wait, no, we can give it to Clint. And then he'll upgrade it. It'll take like two days, right? Two, three days to upgrade. And then in the meantime, we could go check out some other stuff. Maybe? But you mine faster. Yeah, that's true. As we get to that, to that stage. Okay, we've already harvested those. Is it closed on your events? I thought we could do that during the day. Can't we? Oh, that was a big crit. <gasps> okay, put the geode away. Put the frozen geode away. Uh, iron bar. Void essence. That sounds really cool. Uh, wait, chat. Question. For tomorrow's luau, should we bring the crystal fruit? Or should we bring the gold star grape? Because I'm not sure which one we should bring. The gold star grape? So it's the quality of the thing, right? Great. Okay, okay. Uh, leave the crystal fruit there. We'll sell this. We should also sell the mushrooms. Sell the bat wings. Uh... Cool. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and before we go to sleep, cook these so they'll be ready in the morning. Drop these back off here, and then let's sell this real quick. Sell the bat wings, sell the mushrooms, silver star grape, and then fire quartz when you get the gunther. And everything else we're good. Add the bomb. A madman would add the. Can you? Does, does, does it do anything? Why why would you put the bomb inside a pot pot? <laughs> Aww, cute. It's gonna be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the luau. Event will take place on the beach starting between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Don't be late. Is there anything to do for an explosion of flavor? <laughs> <gasps> Combat level up. Choose a profession. Attacks deal 10% more damage. Critical strike chance increased by 50. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, wait, hold up. 10% more damage is consistent, but the damage is only 10%, so it goes from 20 damage to 22 damage, which really isn't that big of a boost. However, when it says critical strike chance increased by 50%, does that mean... Does that mean, like... One out of every two hits will be a crit, or does that mean the critical chance that we have right now is increased by fifty percent? So, exact for example, if we have a ten percent chance to crit, then does it go up to fifteen? Because critical strike is misleading. Crit scout seems better. The wording is weird. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is it 
the strike chance that I have right now increases from, say, 10% to 15%, or does it just go 50%? If you have 5% crit chance, the scout will cha- raise it to 7.5. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Crit strike is misleading, does not give you flat increase to crit chance. How often will you strike? I almost never see it happening. If you have 10%, scout often gives you 50. Okay, so it increases the amount that you have currently by 50%. Yeah, I think fighter is a bit more consistent for this one then. Scout profession gives 50%, so most weapons increases from 2 to 3. Oh, wait, each weapon has their own crit percent. It increases your base amount. Okay, okay, I see, I see. We'll stick with fighter then. This is a bit more, especially with the bone sword, since we can spam it, I feel like this is a bit more consistent. Oh, <gasps> bomb. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. 45 bat wings, 600. Oh my God. We should stop being a farmer. And we should just become a hunter that goes out exclusively looking for bat wings at this point. <laughs> okay, I want to take a look at the recipe for the bomb. I'm curious to know what it's like. Did not know Stardew's going to prove my reading and calculation comprehension? No, sometimes things are just kind of worded funny. Oops, okay. Chad, don't you hate it when you go to look at and watch the TV, but you accidentally pick it up? Man, couldn't be me. <laughs> Living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Starting tomorrow, an unusual amount of shells and corals are expected to wash up on beaches all around the world. I'm no scientist, but I've heard something to do with crab mating season. At any rate, you can make some good coin combing your local beach. Ooh. Ooh. Fortune. Mildly perturbed. Luck will not be on your side. That's fine. We're going to go to the Luau anyway. Crab mating season. Have you guys seen the videos of like crabs doing migrations? It's kind of wild. Okay, don't. Not the bomb. Don't. Don't. Don't do the bomb. Yeah, okay. Let's go get some of this. There's like the National... Was it National Geographic? I forget. Is it that one? I forget. Um, but there's like a documentary that does... That has like an episode about crabs. And oh my god. It's kind of wild seeing that many crabs. The little red crabs. Yeah, like a carpet of claws. Exactly. <gasps> no, no. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Okay, um... Watering can. Make sure Puniko has some water. Nice. Okay, let's see. What's the recipe for bomb? Wait. Wait, that's... That's very cheap. Four iron ore and one coal? Wait, that's really cheap. Wait, what? Why is it so cheap? Four iron ore? We don't even have to cook the iron? Iron ore. And coal? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Can you? What can you do with the... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I'm curious. I'm curious. Can I blow up those huge rock chunks? The ones that my uh, pickaxe aren't strong enough for. Like, can I? Oh. Okay, so they can't break these. Ah. Uh... Can they break trees? Ooh. No. Oh, it's only... Uh, 
Okay, okay. So it's only for the small ones. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Only small branches and full-grown trees. Use the bomb to find the stairs, not the big logs. Only the mines. Ah. Okay, okay. I'll have to keep that in mind. I'll have to keep it in mind. Mostly for mining large groups of mineable, higher level bombs do more. Two times to break the trees. Oh! Two bombs to break trees. Wait. Can you... Can you bomb forests to deforest them? That's kind of tempting. Kind of tempting. Okay, wait. Uh... Gotta double check. Let's see if Clint is open, because it's almost nine. There it is. The luau has begun. I think all of these shops are closed during events, right? You can destroy your stuff as well. No. Ah, man. Man. Okay, okay, that's fine. We'll have to do it later. We'll we'll upgrade our pickaxe to iron tomorrow. Peter, hello! Thank you so much for VIP with the membership. Thank you for the three months. Oh, goody, goody. Hope your Wi-Fi is doing better. But missing your streams. I'm all here for the chill vibes, romping simulations, and spooky vibes. Thank you. Thank you so much for VIP with the membership. Oh, goody, goody. Yeah, I think after January, um, after December and January, the internet, my ISP gets a bit more stable. So, knock on wood, thankfully we have not had issues today. There's a little bit of, just a little bit of lag and stickiness when I like move around um, due to the Wi-Fi, but aside from that, it, wasn't, it hasn't been too bad. Mm. Uh, oh wait, no, I already have the grape. Okay, never mind. Let's go! Chad, I want the backpack. I want the backpack. We're so close to the backpack. I, uh, I hmm. man, man, I can't pick. I want the backpack, but at the same time, like we could also get the wait, not this way. We could also get the iron pickaxe. The iron pickaxe would help us with the. Gold mining. Ah, oh, man. Huge quality of life having another inventory spot. That's true. Because I could carry so much more. Hmm. Get a backpack is worth it. Hey, Aka. Ooh. It's the Luau. Look sharp. Governor's here for his annual visit. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure to add it to the soup cauldron. Okay. Soup cauldron. Yeah! Gold star grape. Let's go! Hello, Marty. How's it going? If you bought something for the soup, climb the stairs on the other side and throw it in. Is... I can't imagine this. I can't imagine this to be like a uh, very tasty if people just randomly throw in things like you know it just becomes a mishmash soup just great soup hey free buffet one of the perks of living here enjoy it kid oh, so much food Put fresh vegetables in my garden, the communal soup. Okay, so there's fresh vegetables and grapes. I hope the soup is good this year. Oh no, I'm sorry, I put in grapes. <laughs> I'm full, but what else is there to do besides eat? Clint is my man. Clint, I understand. I, I understand. <laughs> Clint is one of my people. Good thing I come with sunscreen. Very important. Whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good. What are you roasting? Slow, continuous rotation is the key to achieving a perfect roast. Oh. 
But what is that? We do this festival every year to give the government a taste of everything the valley has to offer. Wait, no, but not like that, Petty. <laughs> we throw this festival to give the governor a taste of everything that has to offer, so we put everything into one soup. <laughs> they just mashed it all together. <laughs> I... I don't think he wants to taste everything in a single bowl, you know, like in a single dish. <laughs> Mayor Lewis helps to become the governor's good side. That's why he's so neurotic about the way the soup tastes. But we, we don't have a recipe, you know? Governor, who cares? Why should I care about some random old guy? <laughs> Spoken like a, like a true... Gen Alpha, I think, nowadays? I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. Wait, hold on. They can talk to him twice, right? No. How's the farm coming along? Must be a busy season for you. I woke up late, stepped out of the door, and found myself in the middle of this hubbub. I forget that today was the day of the luau. Oh, that's right, he lives here. <laughs> I wonder if Mara could use some sunscreen on her shoulders. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. So that's who he was planning on asking out to the flower dance. Ah, I see. One year, Sam put a pound of anchovies in the potluck soup. See? See? This, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. What what happens if someone just puts in... Puts in like a... Wild, un, unexpected ingredient, you know? That's a lot of anchovies. Ever wonder why Sam leaves the town community service hours? Uh... No? It's tiring to socialize with everyone. I'd rather watch the sea. Wait. Wait. Wait, no, but me too. Wait, that's real. That That's a mood. That's, wait, me too. Maybe Abigail? Maybe, maybe Abigail? Wait, but this is, this is me. This is me right here. Like, yes, I love these events, but at the same time, like... Marry her. <laughs> We have this one thing in common, time to marry. <laughs> Is there anything down here? Oh! Hi there, Shin Wee Wee. Taking a breather. To tell you the truth, I'd rather be fishing right now. <laughs> Man. Abigail is great though, her view on rocks. Wait, what's her view on rocks? It was if it were so simple, right? The mer people are curious about your festivities. They become wait. <clears throat> they become upset when you litter into the ocean. Yeah, don't don't litter. The mer people are gonna get you. <laughs> I would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. Perfect weather for a beach party, huh? Okay. I like shining rocks by eating. Wait, she eats rocks? Does she? Wait, but... Wait... Maybe? Maybe I, maybe I do want to marry Abigail. Wow, you don't get a hot pepper chutney in this, like this in the big city. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. She eats quartz? You can feed her amethyst? <gasps> wait. Okay, wait. No, no, no. We gotta, we gotta try this. We gotta try that. Shh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> why why is the text box so big for just two words <laughs> why, why is it so big why does it take up so much space just to say she's unresponsive <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Chad. You have to get your vitamins and minerals, right? And what better minerals than munching down on some amethyst and quartz? Ah, the smell of the ocean takes me back many years, long before you were born. What? What? Why'd you have to say it that way? That music? Man, it's too loud. Can't to have a little peace and quiet to enjoy the ocean? <sighs> You can enjoy the ocean any day. Why'd you decide to come here now of all times? Are you a rock eater? Uh, I plead the fifth on that one. My friends told me, like, Shinri, why do you eat rocks? And I was like, what do you mean? And apparently, um, tajin, the seasoning, has silica inside it. And he's like, yeah, silica is rocks. And I was like, it, but it's tiny. It's like small. It. It's not like, like at most, it's like sand, you know? Ow, you stepped on my foot, dear. <laughs> this is tiring, honey. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon? Oh, No, but tahine, chat. Like, it's tahine is amazing. It's really good. Vincent isn't a good dancer. I'm bored. <laughs> Their priorities are completely... They're going in a completely different direction. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, tahine is amazing. It has silica, right? Right, but like, it has silica, so it's like... It was like, oh, it's, it's sand. It's, you're eating rocks. Okay, let's see. Shop? What's going on here? Wall palm. Jungle decals, ceiling leaves. Ooh, total ball. Wait, wait, but this I like. I like these. Oh, <gasps> starfruit. Whoa, starfruit. Extremely juicy fruit that grows in hot, humid weather. Slightly sweet with a sour undertone. Ooh, salt is kind of rock too. Exactly, exactly. 3,000, that's way too expensive. I kind of want to get these seedling leaves, but I also want to save the money because we, we need to buy a lot of stuff. It's probably not going to be any, spending anything tonight. Hmm. 125 energy. Oh, man. Please don't eat the silica packet. No, no, you're not eating the silica packet. Just look at the ingredients of tahini. It says it says silicon there. Should we move forward with the luau? Governor seems a little hungry. Wait, not yet. Let's talk to the governor. What a lovely occasion! It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. I must speak to the missus about purchasing a vacation home here. Ah, <gasps> all right. Let's go. I'm going for my tahini to fact check this right now. It does say silicon there. <laughs> Daily dose of microplastics. It's micro minerals at this point. Om nom nom, tasty rocks. Had actual starfish some years ago. It was interesting. I hear it's kind of like a crispy apple. Long time ago. I, like, I had it a long time ago. Did you add your ingredient? Yeah. We put in the gold star grape. All right, let's go. Grape soup. Let's see. This, I'm gonna be honest, the color of the soup, not very appetizing. Well, folks, it's time to once again, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visiting the, his visit to the valley. A pound of anchovies. Last time it was a pound of anchovies. <laughs> Let's find out. Well, Governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Of course. I've been looking forward to this all year. Really? 
just just a big just a big bowl of whatever Ooh. It's got grapes in it. Watch him be allergic to grapes. Oh gosh, I hope it's not allergic to grapes. Oh, ah, that's a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. <laughs> Let's go. I. <laughs> All right. Mmm, tasty. You all did very well today. Good soup. Grape soup. I didn't know grapes could be a good ingredient in soup. Now, who else wants some soup? I... <laughs> the luau was a success. Good thing I brought something tasty for the soup. Time to head home. Good soup. Grape soup. Soon, they'll be ready to harvest. <gasps> Silicon dioxide is the same as silica? Then yes, it does have it. Ah. Cute. The party doesn't start until we bring the grape. The grape soup. I could do this forever. I wonder if it's a song. Like, the notes that it hits, like, is playing a song, but we can't tell because the rhythm isn't there. But the melody is. Like, is there a song that actually plays? Or is it random? If you hold it down, it plays notes fast. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, we gotta sleep. We gotta sleep. Wait, wait. Before we sleep, weather. Oh, weather for tomorrow gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow yeah doesn't sound entirely random but not a melody sad sadness it would be really cool easter egg if it like if you hit it enough times to like reset the thing and if you hit it in a particular rhythm it would play the theme song that'd be kind of cool all right bedtime nice fortune teller. Today is good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. No. I was going to go I was going to go put my pickaxe to get upgraded today. Man. Voice is so crispy it's like listening to a horror story because I don't understand a word you're saying. Nice. It's like when I listen to Japanese songs because I don't understand Japanese lyrics but like I can feel it. You know, you can feel the energy of the lyrics, even though you don't understand the words. Like, ah, oh, it's so true though, right? <gasps> Sap, no, oak resin. Ah, do I... No, let's, ah. Uh... No, we, we got, we have to upgrade it. We have to upgrade it. And I don't want to waste time on that. Look, I do have enough money for upgrades. Yeah. I brought all my iron bars. Uh, I have the copper pickaxe. So let's go take a look and see how much it costs. What do I do with the oak resin, though? A sticky, fragrant substance derived from oak sap. Sell boots and weapons for quick cash? Oh yeah, we gotta do that. We gotta get rid of some of the weapons that we're not using. Ooh. 
We haven't gotten the, uh, it's not 9 a.m. yet. Oh, oh, wait, chat, remember? The fortune teller told us that there would be a lot of shells coming up on the beach, so while we wait for Clint to open up his shop, let's go check out the beach and see if there's any amount of shells here. I need. I know you need oak resin for community center bundles. Ooh. It's for crafting, but later in the game? Ah. Okay. We'll hold off on those then. We'll keep them safe. Oak trees are tapped for resin IRL. I know pine trees use tap. Ooh, for pine tree tar. <gasps> Oysters. Oysters. I wanna get I wanna I wanna get some oysters IRL. I've not had oysters in such a long time. Coral? Nice. Anything down here? I don't think so. Eat time, night night poison should be half out of the farm. Thank you for stopping my shy pilot. We have a wonderful night, get lots of sleep. Good eats. It's like good eats with Alton Brown, but eeps. Cause it's like good good sleeps. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Since we're gonna lose our pickaxe, because we have to give it to Clint to upgrade, and it'll take a couple of days. Hmm. Steel pickaxe. Five thousand gold. Ah. Uh, It's worth it though. It's worth it. It's worth it. Like it start on this as soon as it can. It should be ready in a couple of days. Okay. All right. Since we can't go into the mines now with the pickaxe being upgraded right now, I am going to go find my future rock-eating wife, Abigail, and feed her some. Oops. Oh no, my phone's still on, on silent. <laughs> I'm gonna go find my future uh, rock-eating wife, Abigail, and feed her some quartz and amethyst. <laughs> okay, but no. One, she has purple hair. Purple is my favorite color. Two, she's like a little bit of an introvert and doesn't really want to get too into like the middle of a party. She likes to just be a little bit further out and watch the ocean. Like, me too, you know? We're all looking for our other rock eating half. Yeah, okay, quartz, delicious quartz. Can, can I give her a diamond? Will she eat a diamond? I'm curious. Let's eat rocks together, right? <laughs> it's the ibuprofen pose, right? It's but instead of let's take ibuprofen together, it's let's eat rocks together, and then like hand out this like just a bunch of rocks. <laughs> okay, wait. Where does where does Abigail live? George, Evelyn, uh. Pierre, Jody, Emily, Haley, Elliot, uh, Museum, Trojan Mart, Adventures Guild. Yeah, let's eat rocks together. Leah's Cottage. Wait, what? Where? Abigail's at the general store? Home of Pierre, Carolyn, and Abigail. Okay, let's go, let's go. What? We need to find out. We need to, we need to go. Wait, hold up. Abigail, where's Abigail? Single. You haven't given any gifts. Birthday, 13th of fall, status single. Fruits and vegetables, animal produce, artisan items, cooked items, fish. There we go. Metals, minerals, and gems. <laughs> this is what we're going for. How old is Abigail? She's Pierre's daughter? Like, how, wait, how old is Abigail? I'm worried now. Kinda wish I had a cat. 
Unfortunately, my dad is allergic to pretty much everything. Early 30s? Oh, <gasps> perfect! Okay. Quartz. Hey! How Wait, why is she so cute? <laughs> Wait, why is she so cute? Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. Oh, Wait, that's really cute. Thomas, I'm thinking of the soup. Uh, fastest way through love is food. Rocks are just a crunchier kind of meal. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Light gifts. Quartz. Wait, can I- wait, can I give it- I can, I can only give one gift at a time, right? Can I give it her diamond? You've already given every gift- No. Okay, but here's the thing, chat. Here's the thing. Do not underestimate... Like, the, uh... Marriageability of someone with very good dental insurance. Only two a week? I thought it was one a day. Two a week? Okay, it's Friday. So we can wait a couple of days. And then, oh, we can just get... Oh, yeah. Actually, what does crystal taste like? Crunchy. Very crunchy. Crunchy. <laughs> Man, cries and no money. Cherry sapling. Bears fruit in the spring. Bears fruit in the spring. No real point in buying these right now. It tastes like sandwood. Talk is once a day. Orthodontist is quaking. <laughs> Abigail, best girl. Shaylee, they give the soup. Uh... 30,000. Oh my god. Epiphray. Sorry, I mistyped. She's like mid twenties. Mid twenties. All right. That's not. Not only the age gap is that big. But it's a game, right? So I figure. I, I figure it's okay. How old am I in game? I don't know how old I am in game, but I'm level ten. <laughs> I don't know, chat. This is what I want. I want people to make games, for like. Like, us. You know, like, make. Please make games for us in our 30s. Like, please, please stop making games. Like, okay. Animes and mangas. Alright? Can, can we have less high school drama and more like college drama? More like post grad drama? I want, like,. What was the last one? Like, Wotakoi? I think, um, Love is Hard for an Otaku, that one. Where it's just like, they're like in their 30s, they're just trying to manage like their job. And it's like, facing the reality of realizing how hard it is to make friends once you're out of school. You know? Like, you're looking for Seden, but like a lot of it just ends up being like fantasy stuff, you know? Like, I, like, I'm, like, I love Vegabond, right? I love Vegabond. Wedding funds are getting me out of here. Funds. <laughs> Green, they came for the soup, but thank you, thank you. Like, I really like, like, I don't know. There's like a lot of sentence, but there's like, you know, dark and greedy kind of stuff. You know, I want just slice of life, but with thirty year olds. You know, I want, I want that kind of stuff. I want manga with normal people in their thirties, exactly. Like, get, get me some of that slice of life, but slice of. 30s lives, you know, mid 30s lives. Tail of self Asperia MC's like 21 years old. That's still too young though, you know? What you're looking for is the Jose genre. Oh, Jose genre. I'll have to, I'll have to look for that. So, Spy Family. Spy Family is cute, but it's like, it's a little bit too action y, it's a little bit too adventure y, you know? Slice of midlife crisis. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, that's... Slice of midlife crisis. <laughs> Wait, that's so good. 
it's less of Midlife Crisis. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Wait, that's so good <laughs> slice of midlife crisis there's a genre chat there's a genre that we need more of. <laughs> i think that's just yakuza 7 oh my god oh my god <laughs> no that's that's perfect. There, we. That's what we need to do. We need to start a movement, a new genre of manga movies. <laughs> You've heard of slice of life. Now get ready for slice of midlife crisis. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so good. Oh, the time they got Isakawa having anxiety attacks in the office of the Kima Farm in the world where people eat frogs. <laughs> hey. Like I said, daily dose of vitamins and minerals, right? <laughs> Seaside Strategy goes through life of the late teens and twenties and it's ongoing. I want that, like, oh my gosh. Like, give give me like like yo Naruto, right? But the Boruto the time skip thing, it's it's not about the children. It's about Naruto doing paperwork and realizing Ah, shoot, being Hokage is actually not that exciting because now I have all these responsibilities. And, like, just give me, like, a sh like a one-shot of him having to deal with paperwork, you know? And just, like, dealing with, like... I don't know, maybe someone wants to build a thing and he has to, like, deal with it because, like, safety regulations and, like, local legislation or whatever is, like, interfering with his ability to, like, construct things and, like, he's just got to go through all these, like, you know, maintenance and checks and things like that, right? <laughs> what about way of the house husband i've watched all of it i love it so much i love how dramatic he makes it there's this one one uh one episode i think um in the live action version of way of the house husband um i think was it the cat the cat pokes little holes in the the paper sliding doors i forget what they're called but the cat pokes a hole in one, and he's like, oh, darn, I have to repair it. And then the repair sequence that he goes through is just so over the top and dramatic. <laughs> but I love it so much. Oh, my God. Okay, we should sell some of the corals. The live action was good. Yeah. Sell, 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 sell. Spotted red mushrooms, sometimes find the caves. Negative 50 energy and death. <laughs> I think you like Junji Ito's manga about his cat? <gasps> what? He has a manga about his cat? Wait, but that's that's really cute. That's so cute. Oh. Wait, excuse me. Mm. What? We got... Eight geodes. We might as well go crack some. I don't think we have enough time. Clint might close by the time we get there, so we'll we'll crack open those geodes later. Illustrated horror manga, but it's just his cat doing cat things. Cute. That's adorable. I'm gonna have to go watch it. I'm gonna have to go watch it or read it. I guess. I will have to go check it out afterwards. Please remind me after the stream. There you go, Puniko. Oh, <laughs> cute. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. Is that done? Oh. Wait, plant in spring or summer to grow a coffee plant? Place five beans in the keg to make coffee. What? Coffee bean. Oh, the plant's still there. It's still... Ooh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think we have a couple of... I just need one. One copper bar. One copper bar. And one iron ingot. One iron ingot. Wait, I already have iron. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Sprinkler. One sprinkler. It covers four spots. It covers four squares, so it's exactly enough... Where's my hoe? Where's my hoe? There's my hoe. Let's go. 
Okay. Uh, let's put you here. Like that. Okay, put the hoe away. I want to get some sap. Turn that into fertilizer. Right? One, two, three, four. Okay, and then fertilizer, 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 fertilizer. Sprinkler in the middle. And then coffee beans back into the ground. Oh, let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god, let's go. How how profitable is coffee as a crop in Stardew? Because if I can make everything coffee, I would. Wait. What other minerals do I have that I can feed to? <laughs> Just, that sounds so weird. Um, frozen tear? Right? Beans. It's pretty good. Strawberry, you need flavor creamer to mask the taste. You can brew coffee in kegs. Not too profitable, but cheaper than buying coffee. Oh, awful profits? No! It's sad now. Okay, wait. Fire quartz, this one goes to the mu museum. Frozen tear, it's a mineral. I could feed this to Abigail. Jade, one, feed that to Abigail. Topaz, feed that to Abigail. Mudstone, feed that to Abigail. Wait, I can't even feed this many. It's only two a, two a week. Hey, Pitfray, thank you. Thank you for the gifted membership. Thank you, thank you. can we get some hearts in the chat? Thank you so much. Gives you a speed boost in the mines. I was hoping that you can make it like a like a like a valuable crop to sell for money, but darn it, man. Hmm. Sign of affection. I've not seen that one. Sasaki and Peep. I'm not familiar with that one either. Oh no. Chad, I don't. I, you have to. You have to realize I don't have time. Or, I, sorry, I, my brain does not have the, the patience to sit down and watch anime or read manga. Or, I guess I can read manga, but, like, I don't have the time to sit down and watch anime. My brain just doesn't work for that anymore, sadly. It's currently airing. Ooh. One mineral a day keeps the Abigail hungry. <laughs> hey, dear. Here's your daily... Uh, daily dose of minerals. <laughs> Crunch, crunch. <laughs> Let's sell weapons to guild. Oh, that's right. There's some time. We can get there. We can do that. Yeah, I would 100% read manga before I watch anime. Because I can read manga faster than I can watch anime. Okay, sell, sell. Sell, sell. Sell. Sell, sell. And then these... Uh, I should also sell this thing, shots. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I, it's faster for me to read um, than it is for me to watch. Like, I, I'm sure the animes are great, and some of the scenes, like, if I'll, like, watch a clip of a really cool animated area or, like, a moment in the show. But if I just want to get the story, I'm more comfortable just speeding through the manga than it is to try to just sit down. My brain, I think it's just social media has gotten to the point where it's infected my brain. And it's really hard for me to sit down and stay, like, silent. You know? I should probably work on that, though. Another one I'd like to reread is I hear the sunspot, but I forget to be all sometimes. Super sweet college age characters. Oh, let's go. More college age characters. Is it. Is it here? Oh, no, it's not here. Wait, it's. It's over there. Okay, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Linus, my bad. Um, I hope you have a wonderful night, though. <laughs> oh, my brain's not working today, chat. Just about the mines, but they close at ten, just in time. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. okay, there we go. Thirty minutes to spare. Yo, yeah, wake up. We have a visitor. Oh my god. Oh my 
my god. I'm looking at these and it's like, the... what? Wait, are you telling me that we got the best item that's offered in the shop as a random drop from the monsters? Th th he doesn't offer anything better than this. Oh my god. That was so lucky. What on earth? No way. <gasps> and we got the Firewalker boots too from the from the chest. The only thing better than that are these dark boots. One more defense but one less immunity? No way, that's so cool. He buys it for 250. Oof. Oh, that's that's painful. Uh, all of that together was barely a thousand. <laughs> Items are added to the shop when you find them the first time. Oh, I see, I see. So we, we got the best one so far compared to everything else that we got. Wait. Oh, buy back. No. Okay. Don't need the slingshot. Increases it. Oh, increases attack by 10%. Wait, does this... Does this stack additively or multiplicatively with our passive? How does that work? Like... If we do 10 damage, or if, like, let's say we do 100 damage, right? 10%, we have the passive from Fighter, so we do 110 damage. The rings are worthless, you'll get better ones soon. Additively? Okay, okay. Increases weapon speed by 10%, not so much. Critical strike power, critical strike chance, weapon precision, knockback, okay. I I think we got the best one then, so... Because it's dropped, it's in the shop now. Ah. Been a while, honestly, don't remember a lot of the updates I did. I guess... I wish it was a bit easier to do the math. Like... I would like to be able to mouse over this and be like, the Bone Sword's base damage is 20 to 30. However, because you have the passive, you're currently doing 22 to 33 damage. Is there? Is there a way to see what passes I have, actually? Uh, inventory, social, map, no. Wait, can you tell? Crafting, collections, letters, cooking, minerals, artifacts, no, options, advanced crafting information, uh, I, I guess not, second tab skills, Yeah, if they could put 2233 next to that, that'd be great, right? That's what I'm saying. See, we have the passive here. Oh, it's over here, okay. 10% more damage. The base is 20 to 30, but because of the passive, we actually do 22 to 33. Like, I would, I would like to be able to see that. Or like, you know, if we have a ring that increases damage, you know? It'll be like, oh, you're, it's, the base is 20 to 30, but the collective addition of all of your passives and bonuses from items add to, I guess the next one will be 24 to 36 damage. Should we just get the other one? Increases attack by 10. Should we sell this? Can I sell this? How much is this Topaz ring worth? Oh, it's barely a hot, oh my gosh. Praise the Stardew Wiki. Man. I know wikis are incredible um, just resources in general for people to like share information, but I kind of wish more games included all that information in the game, you know? Come back when you got something to show me, kid. Are you hungry? He's hungry. 
Wait. I want to I I grab the sword. <laughs> I dislike secret mechanics. Yeah. I think, like, for me, um, it the biggest, like, offender right now is, like, in Escape from Tarkov, there's, like, a whole bunch of different bullets, but they don't tell you anything about the bullets. Like, they don't tell you which which type of bullets is better than the other one. They have, like, some flavor text of, like, oh, these are um, military-grade bullets, or, like, these are used by, uh, like, police defense forces around the world or whatever, blah, 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 right? But it's, like, you don't know if it's actually better or worse than the ones you already have because there are no stats. It doesn't tell you the numbers. And you have to go to the wiki in order to fi uh, figure that out. And it's, like, why not just include it in the game? You know, like don't don't make your players go to a third party website to find that information, you know? Oh my god, I love this sword. I love this sword so much. Hmm. Monster loot? Wait. Any more minerals? Resource, resource, resource. Artisan, artisan goods, monster loot, seed, fruit, forage. Okay, so it's just these. All right, all right. We have to go find. Oh, cute. Wait, pet, pet. Let me pet Stardew, please. Let me pet cats more than once. All right, tomorrow's weather is... A storm is approaching. Thunder and lightning is expected. Ooh. Thunder and lightning. Let's go. Go to sleep. Ooh, not bad. 300. 400 from fishing for the little shell. Not too bad. You don't have a lightning rod. I do not have a lightning rod. Should I get a lightning rod? Oh. Cute. All right. Spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. That's okay, because our pickaxe is currently being uh, uh, is currently being updated or upgraded. Torch. I don't think we have a lightning rod actually. No, we don't have. A, we don't even have the thing unlocked. Uh oh. Hopefully it doesn't zap the plants. Hey there! Had some extra wood lying around. Thought you maybe could use it. Take care. Aw, that's sweet. Thanks, Robin. Grow. Grow. Yeah, um, these two plants here, there was one plant here on top of the sprinkler, and then one plant here to the side of the sprinkler. Um, that got struck by lightning, so that's why these two areas, these spots are empty. Because we had plants, and then it just got zapped, and then we lost it. <laughs> okay. Uh, number one. Ooh. We gotta go get frozen tier mineral to Abigail. Make sure she's not hungry. And then the second one is... Gotta go and make sure we scoop up all the shells from the beach because. <gasps> Ooh! Sweet pea. Yeah, let's go. We had plants until we didn't. <laughs> Zeus had issue with this one specific blueberry plant. It's like, I shall smite you. Zap. <gasps> oh my gosh! There are, like, already tons of coral. Whoa! Three corals already? Oh, <gasps> four? Yeah. Had beef with the blueberry bush. <laughs> okay, are there any more on this side, then? Please, more corals. Or urchins? Ah, just one, just one. Not bad. Oh! <gasps> Okay, three regular, one silver star, one gold star coral. Let's go. Oh, hey. What are you doing here? I got this old amulet to sell, but 
Something tells me you're not ready for it, lad. When will we? When will we be ready? Will we ever know? Hmm. All right, let's go meet Abigail. Wait, excuse me. Gotta feed a gal lots of rocks first. <laughs> Ooh. Gotta go see about a gal at rocks. Hello, it's Emily. I'd like to buy a frozen tear from someone. Trapped to find jewelry. Emily will be thankful. Oh, <gasps> wait, wait. Oh no, do we feed our future wife the frozen tear or do we finish the quest for Emily? Trick question. We can do both because we have multiple frozen tears. Let me go grab the other one. <laughs> yeah, we have, a, we have a whole bunch uh, in the chest. Let's go pick up the second one. Imagine that power move of just going there and be like, Hey, Emily, check this out. And it's like, oh, look, it's a frozen tear. I've been looking for one of those. And then you give it to Abigail right in front of her. And then Abigail just munches down on the frozen tear while staring at Emily in the eye. <laughs> She's like, oh, I wanted to make jewelry out of that. Crunch, crunch. And it's like, what are you? What are you doing with the frozen tear? Ah, <laughs> oh, we can't go in. We can't get in. Right? Oh, we can. Ah. I don't think we can get inside Emily's or Abigail's room, right? Because she doesn't trust us as a friend yet. Can we knock on the door? You're not good enough friends with Abigail to enter her bedroom. How do we, how do we get her out so that we can give her the food? Emily would probably understand out of everyone. <laughs> Just looks at us like, ah, oh, it's Abigail. Checks out. Okay. Nothing's changed here. Oh, wait, we can actually afford... Takes 80, 28 days to produce a mature orange. Bears fruit in the summer. Only grows if the eight surrounding tiles are empty. It's the... 13th of summer already. That's not, it's, we don't have enough time for that. We can get this ready for next year, but I might as well just save the money for uh, the backpack then. 28 days to mature in the fall. No, bears fruit in the summer, bears fruit in the fall. Bears fruit in the fall. Ah. Uh, no, we would still. Hmm. I think bag first. Yeah, I think for the I think we should get the bag first. Would Abigail eat the ring you just proposed to her? We gotta make so here's the thing. We're gonna make sure that we get a metal ring, not a mineral ring. It won't it'll have no inlets, no jewels, nothing inside it. Because if she <laughs> Hey honey, what happened to the ring I gave you for our wedding? <laughs> I was hungry, so I wanted a midnight snack. I ate them. I ate the ruby from it. <laughs> oh my god! Like during the vows, like, and do you take Abigail for your like lovely wedded wife? And like, you just hear like crunching while everyone's like sitting there, and just nibbling away at the ring. Ooh, that's right. There's this thing here that we haven't really checked out yet, have we? It's locked. Mm, we have to get out that one. Crunch, crunch. What if you're proposed and she just ate it instead? <laughs> oh man. Wait, wasn't there, wasn't there a like marriageable option in Harvest Moon? I think for the. GameCube, I believe. Harvest Moon for the GameCube. It's, she's a redhead tomboy um, who likes fossils and rocks. We already have these. Hi, yo, Pokey. Did you bring coins? Good. Me sell hats. We already have this straw hat. Good old cat. I don't know if I want to spend a thousand on that. Hmm. Yeah, Nami. 
like her her special interest or like special interest items were the uh, like fossils and stuff. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Does she eat rocks too? I don't remember if Nami ate rocks. I don't think so. I think she just collected stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's go visit the wizard because it's been a while since I said hello. Hey, how's it going? Stormy days are the only time I can commune with certain elementals. I don't expect you to understand. <laughs> okay. Be that way, jeez. Oh. Huh. The cursor changes to a hand here, and I don't know why. Huh. Ooh. What are you doing? I only allow those I trust in or there. Okay, fine. Is there, is there nothing to do here? I guess not. Can't interact with any of these things. Garlic. Ooh. Don't remember when you were able to marry the Harvest Goddess and one of the Harvest Moons. Maybe? And I'm gonna be honest, it's been a long time since I played Harvest Moon, so I don't quite remember. Next time, make a door. <laughs> Ooh, there's another sweet pea here. Yeah. Okay. What's over here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. This looks like a giant vegetable that I'm going to pull out of the ground and eat. I want to just eat everything here. Man. <clears throat> you can give the wizard. Can you? I don't know what the wizard likes though as a gift though. What did that leader? You can eat anything in general at least you can eat anything at least once in general. This is true. A lot of things you can eat just at least once. Since we can't go with the mines, I'm kind of at a loss as to what to do now. So uh I guess we can head back and see if Abigail has come out of her room. And feed her the frozen tear. Where does Emily live again? Emily. Emily, Emily, Emily. Two Willow Lane, south, red roof. Such a damn good loss when I didn't have mines. Oh, no. I just. I want to go back. I want to farm. I want to farm for more gold. I want to farm for more iron. Hello, Emily. I bring you. Man. Open the doors. Let me let me finish the quest. I have the thing that you asked me for. <laughs> can you give us an... Can you give us who are additioning charm for good luck? <clears throat> Wait, hold up. I'm going to give you a good luck charm in the form of a good luck beam. So, moe, moe, koi. Pew. There you go. You have good luck now. <laughs> if you guys are applying, um, those of you who may have uh, seen Axel and Altair's... Ah, no, Abigail, let me in. I have food for you. <laughs> If you have seen Axel's and Altair's 3D showcases and you're like, I want to be an idol too. I want to be, uh, I want to be on the stage like that. The auditions are always open. And if you submit one, but you don't get in, you can always resubmit every three months, I believe. Um, so you can always take the time to reevaluate what you thought you did well, to go look and maybe try a different approach every three months. But, uh, it's always open. Um, I tweeted it out, and I also have a link of it in the- Ooh! Why do you have a funny-looking plant? Why are you so tall? Um, you can go to the- <clears throat> ah. Sorry, my throat was a little bit, like, phlegmy. You can go to the website. Um, the application goes to the same place. It's one application. Um, yeah. 
I'm a woman I can. You can still apply. Um, there's no restrictions on the uh, on the gender of the applicants. So you can still feel up, uh, feel free to apply. Yeah. But I would say the big thing is don't overthink it too much. Um, I feel that a lot of a lot of the worry there is about like you know like oh what if it's not what if it's not perfect you know. Ooh. And the reality is like there you won't really there isn't such there is no such thing as like a perfect audition you know. The best thing you could do is be yourself convey your personality in the best way you can to make sure like hey this is what I have to offer I know I can't do anything but I at least want to fight some of the monsters here since we've got some time yeah so good luck to all of those auditioning I wish you all the best of luck <gasps> Ooh, wait, maybe? Maybe we can still... Oh, wow. Maybe we can still dig through the... Uh, through the mines by just getting lucky with the... the monster kills. Shadow, thank you. But father, what if you wish to be a giant, flo a giant floating holographic koi? I am unaware of any auditions for the role of giant holographic floating koi, but... I think uh, maybe you can be the one to set that trend. Be the change you wish to see in the world. And then, who knows, maybe in the future, more people will also wish to become giant floating holographic uh, coins. <laughs> oh my god, this thing attacks so fast, I love it. Yeah. Anyway, but I have not set up a gaming skills to be a VTuber. Oh yeah, um, you can always practice. Uh, OBS is free. Uh, Twitch or YouTube accounts are free. And and like to be quite frank, I don't know. If there's too many big differences um, between like streaming here. There's like streaming has been a thing for a while now, so. There are lots of guides out there. There are lots of helpful uh, instructions, people who've had their experiences and have shared those online. You can go through a lot of those and uh, learn as much as you can. But I think one of the big things is you just kind of have to start. Um, I know specifically for myself, like it's very easy to want to think, oh, I want to collect and read up on as much information as I possibly can before I get started. You know, I want it to be like ready to go, like perfectly set. But you know, the the best thing to do is really just put yourself out there because you will learn very quickly what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and you know, you, you will uh, feel out your own vibes as you get that experience hands on. So that's what I would recommend. Ben and thank you. Do you do you know when the audition for one of the coins for your 3D open? <laughs> Again, I have no idea. I wish I did. I wish I did. But no, absolutely no clue when it's gonna happen. For for good reason too. Oh my gosh, I'm taking so much damage. They they do a lot. Wow. To be a bit more careful. To get so much for that super. Alright, it's midnight. Time to head back to uh back to bed. I'm guessing Abigail and Emily are both sleeping at this point, so... Yeah. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck. There are many ways to make streaming comfortable, even with people with anxiety. Yeah. For good reason. Because I have a very difficult time keeping things under wraps, and I really like to tease and spoil things, so... <laughs> So, I like Shinri Holland, I will Shinri Holland really badly if I knew. So, the fact that I don't know is probably for the best. <laughs> That's why I say it's for good reason that I don't know. <laughs> oh, Bonico. I hate this. I hate this. At, at least twice. Please, let us pet our pets at least twice. Wait, hold up. 
I'll check the weather for tomorrow. Weather for tomorrow is... Oh, more storm. Let's go. All right, eat time. I'll focus on getting my arc out consistently before I work on streaming. Good luck, good luck. Oh, oh cute. Steel pickaxe is ready. Let's go. Oh, Queen of the sauce. It's not a rerun. Today is pancakes. Let's go pancakes. Something very com something comforting about a simple pancake. You want plenty of butter and maple syrup to slather over these warm stacks. Let's go. Okay. Hmm. Hey kid, my throat's about as dry as a desert bone. I'm real thirsty for pale ale. Got one? Regular old beer won't do. I need a pale ale. Pam. What? Why are you coming to me, Pam? What? What? <laughs> uh, Alright. I, I don't think I can finish the quest, but okay. Yeah. Wait, I lost my train of thought. Oh no. Oh, that's right. We got we forgot to sell these corals. Darn it. Gotta make some money. Sweet pea. Fiber coral. Coral. Sweet peas. Um. Batwing slime. Kind of want to keep these. Yeah, let's keep the rest of it. Right, yeah, alcohol dehydrates you, so like, Pam, what's going on? Oh, we couldn't sell the slingshot, so... Oh! <gasps> Wait! Oh my god! Oh my god! The blueberries are ready! Yo! Oh my god, the blueberries are ready, look at that! Oh no, oh no, we have to harvest fast. Oh, there's more coffee beans too? Wait, wait, this is amazing. Oh, we're gonna be rich. We're gonna be rich. Oh, look at that. That's so many blueberries. Oh my god. No way. I wonder how much each blueberry is worth. Yo. Did we get them all? Yeah. Oh, and the sap is on too. Perfect. Gamester, thank you for the super. Hey, should or thank you for re the membership. Oh, quitty, quitty. Hey, should we start your valleys not to be a bit addicting to play in the vice game, but you just sleep so I figured out what you had the time. <laughs> thank you for the 11 months, Gamester. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Welcome back, oh, quitty, quitty. Five gold star. Eight silver star and a hundred and thirty blueberries. Oh my god, I wonder how much money that's gonna be. Wait, not that. Okay. Should we sell it all? Yeah, let's sell it all. Oh my god. I wanna hold on to the grapes though. Maple syrup? Ooh, coffee. Wait, wait. Do we have enough copper to make one more? Oh, we do. Let's make one more sprinkler. And then, where's my hoe? Get my hoe. Okay, let's do another set of coffee right here. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. And then another four coffee beans. Yeah. I'm a little sad that coffee is not so profitable, but at least it grows fast. So, man, I wish it was a bit more profitable. Okay, put that away. These are already watered because it's raining like cats and dogs outside. Bug meat, put that away. Hold these, hold that. Geode. Let's take the geodes, since we're going to go visit Clint anyway, and then I want to feed Frozen Tear, Frozen Tear. Yeah. Alright, let's go! Makes for great gifts if you brew it. Always use it before I sell it anyway. Ah! 
can just turn into coffee and yuma round. What is, what, oh, how long does it last? Does it last the whole day? How much milk do you put in your coffee? None. I actually do not drink coffee with any uh, creamer or sugar or anything. I just drink it black coffee. Uh, it, it was out of laziness, but since then it has become habit and now I just kind of drink it just plain. Yeah. 80% milk, 5% coffee. <laughs> Alright, let's... Oh, steel pickaxe. Let's go. Okay, now let's get some geodes. Uh, geodes. Process geodes. Magma geode. Ooh. Kyo, hello. Kyo, Kyo? Kyo, I think? Thank you so much for the 10 gifted memberships. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Can we get some hearts in the chat for Kyo and the gifted memberships? Thank you so much. If you receive one, please enjoy the channel badge and the emotes. Thank you. Thank you. Try doing that, but I don't drink coffee with the creamer and need my sweet mixture. For me, I... Yeah. I used to, but it just kind of became like a very... Uh, like too much effort for me to go ahead and like try to buy like get creamer and sugar and like get all the things measured out. So nowadays I just kind of go for like straight black coffee. All right, donate. Oh my gosh, we have so much to donate. Okay, there we go. I have a nice little rainbow display going on here. <gasps> Ooh, it's more purple. Oh, there's so much purple. Oh, that's like a nice blue. Oh, that's a really pretty blue. Like, maybe, maybe... I feel like there's gotta be more. Is there like a bigger table? This is a bigger table, right? Hang on. I think this is a bigger table. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Eight. Yeah, this is a bigger table, so we can do like that. Put these away from here. Okay. Red, orange, yellow, green. Oh, I could do some like... No, but there's not enough space. I don't think there's enough space for this. Right? Like that? Take this. It kind of looks like poop, so I'm gonna move that out of the way, and we'll shuffle everything over, because I want to make space for that. There we go. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that looks so nice. Yeah. Okay, let's all put these away. Hmm. How about the other ones? How should we? I guess we can go like a white to blue. So like. Whitish ones here, and then slowly turns blue, kind of like like that, and then darker. Switch these two. Like that, kind of. This would go here. The fact that they're like little, uh... My brain, like the gradient is throwing me off. Wait. That feels better. This feels better. What about this? I don't think we have enough shades to make this work. Maybe? Silver? No, that's too much of a silver. Oh gosh. Hmm. I know there's like a game like this where you like measure the shades. But 
there's like... It, it's throwing me off, chat. It's throwing me off a little bit. That feels right, but then where do you fit in? Kind of? But then these are out of place now. Hmm. So yeah, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Please take care. Get lots of eats. Good dreams. Greenish, yeah, but there's no like green thing on this side to like line it up with. Because it got like the white, sky blue, light blue, 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 and then it kind of fades into the green. But then like if that were the case, it would be more like that. Because this seems intermediary between these blues and these greens. This is a bit more on the greener side than the white side, so it's like there. Silver doesn't really fit here. Is there anything? Is it? No! <laughs> I think we need to go ahead and get more, uh, more objects. Because you can kind of see where I'm going with this, right, chat? Hmm. I guess for now... I guess for now we'll just leave these here. To, like, line up in this area. This kind of goes there, like... These are- but they're, like, off- intermediary off-colors. No, that's not. Wait. That way? No. Mm. The gradient of this is throwing me off a little bit. You have one more in your inventory? Oh! There we go. Like, bubbly white. Bubbly white with a little bit of blue. And then the blue gets a bit more... Intense. See that? This feels normal. This this or like this feels good. Like this almost seems like it should go on this side. Uh no. Like this feels smooth right here. And this. These kind of go well together like that. This is satisfying. It's like it's almost there, but it's not quite. I think it'll be easier once we have more objects, more artifacts and minerals that line up in this area. But like, I guess that's kind of where we go for. Like a nice white to blue to green to like a darker brown gradient here. So we got like a rainbow here. This one can be like earthy, earthen tones. Gray, gray ones will go all the wait. Gray speckled, speckled gray, speckled gray will go here, like that. And this will be like the browns and gold. And then this one fits here. If the shade goes there, so we're missing like two steps between here. I guess we'll leave these ones over here. I'll, I'll figure out what to do with these two later. But like, the browns and the golds, a rainbow here, like a blue sky, green, oceany kind of feel, and then these would be like the speckled, the speckled uh, grays and browns and oranges. Is she, hello, thank you for the super. Can you give us advice on tips on the five minute audition video? Hmm. I guess the biggest advice I would give you is make it. Ah, uh, no. Uh, the best advice that I would give is show, don't tell. Show, don't tell. If you want to show off, say, your singing talent, right? Bust out a song. Don't say, I know how to sing. Right? Because a lot of people can say, I know how to sing, right? They can say that in a, on audition, right? But you want to show them that you can sing, 
right? There's the difference. You want to show your talents. You don't want to just talk about your talents, right? If you're really good at gaming, right? Don't just say like, oh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm like, you know, uh, challenger tier or whatever at Valorant or whatever, right? Just be like, here's, you know, like just show them the clips of you playing it, right? Just show them those, uh, like some really cool uh, highlights that you can pick up, right? And then maybe you love to do something with hand cams, right? Show a clip of you doing something with your hands, you know? Show, don't tell. It would be the biggest advice that I would give because a lot of people can talk about things, but at the end of the day, you want to be able to show that you can do this. And more importantly than that, it's, it's that you know how to show those through the medium of streaming, you know? Which is kind of where the difficult part is. Um, so like, let's say, um, like Haka, you really love and you have a passion for uh, building little figurines. Um, I think like Haka, he was, he's talking, he talked about like putting together Gundam figurines, right? Um, like in those cases, like you want to be able to show those off in a way that works well with the medium of streaming as opposed to just being like here's my collection of you know all the figurines that i've assembled right like gunpla yeah there we go gunpla um like instead of just being like here's a collection of this right you uh, how do i explain this um because just showing a like a wall or like a shelf of finished products is effectively just a photo right? It's just a photo. But how do you convey that through the medium of streaming is what I would say. Like, figure that out. Like, find your talents, your skills, and then ask, like, okay, how do I show this in the form of a live stream? You know, like, how, how could I best do this, right? It could be hand cams, it could be streams, it could be highlights, it could be clips. Maybe you just, you know, you don't even have anything on screen. You just have, like, a black screen and you're just talking because maybe you have a very nice singing voice, you know? But generally, the, the biggest thing I would say is find a way to show your talents and don't just tell us about your talents, you know? Yeah. Sorry, that's a little bit rambly, but... <laughs> but that would be the advice I would give. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. about the super. Good luck to everyone going and shooting their shot. Good luck at the... Oh! <gasps> It's a bear plushie, oh my god. Large futon bear. Yo, he looked look, he looked chunky. A drum block. Place a drum pat sound when you walk past. Ooh. Okay, excuse me. Big bear. Oh, that's a big bear. Look at that. Oh he's so big. Reminds me of like a beanie, like a like a bean bag. Oh, cute! Wait, was it this one? Oh. Get a bunch more of these. Chat, how do we get more of these? I want to get more of these drum blocks. <gasps> she oh quite thank you for joining the toilet. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the channel badge and the emotes. I want to get like a whole line of these and just walk past them to play a song. That'd be kind of cool. Ooh. Always put those next to my front door. That's what I'm thinking. If you like set up a whole bunch of these to play music. And then you walk through and it just makes, like, it plays a sound. Like those, uh, note blocks in Minecraft. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. All right, chat. I don't want to stop, but... <gasps> no! No! <laughs> 
train is passing through Star Oh, <gasps> wait, what? Wait, no. Fs. Can we get some Fs in chat for this one specific blueberry plant that was zapped by lightning and died? No. F in chat. Wait, wait, there's a train. There's a train. Hold up, hold up. How do we get to the train station? Up. Spooky train? Yeah, I want to know. I, I've never seen the train come through before. The beef with the blueberry bush. <laughs> Wait, let's see the train. It's up here, right? Yeah, it's up here. <gasps> Hop in. Hi, Abby. Go tunnel lens. Oh, this little monster there. Ooh. That has a gash in it. Little Choo Choo was here. Aww. Choo Choo. Can I jump on? Can I jump on? Can I jump on? No, I can't jump on. It won't let me get on. No. What event is that? Is that all? Wings of Hell, thank you. Congrats with the successful Star Do Sunday. Yeah! We finally got one, chat. We finally got one. A proper Star Do Sunday stream. Thankfully, with no... <laughs> With no internet cutouts, except for like the little bit... <gasps> no, I'm like... Silky smooth. Except for like the little bit of like... Lagginess and stuttering at the beginning. Look how smooth I am now. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. <gasps> we did it, chat. Let's go. If the lids are not on, the train will give you something. Oh. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Abigail. No, wait. You're not even in here. Abigail? Where are you? Ah. Wait. She's not even home. Oh, is she outside in the rain? We need to go get like an umbrella. Okay. We're going to go find Abigail and Emily. Finish the quest. And then... It sounds weird to say feed Abigail. But... We're going to give her a gift. <laughs> okay, we still can't give it to Emily because Emily's being a... Like... I don't, I don't know. She's being difficult. <laughs> Please give me some frozen tears. Also, I won't open the door to let you give me the frozen tears. <laughs> oh wait, Emily has blue hair. Okay, I, I still need to learn. I still need to learn all of them. Okay, real quick, let's see if there's any corals. Haley is the blonde one. Oh, she's the one with the attitude. Okay, blonde Haley is the one with the attitude. Emily has blue hair. Okay, okay. No corals? Okay, not yet. 6.20 p.m. Oh no. Abigail, where are you? I wish there was like a little tracker mod that you could use. Why is it that we're talking about auditions at the exact time I pull up my laptop so I can lay in bed and I see a channel with the clip of one audition story? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Sometimes the algorithm just does that. Okay, they're not in here. Are they in the stores? Like the, the bar maybe? Saloon? Yeah. Have an audition story somewhere? I think so. I'm pretty sure I said it maybe like the first Zatsu stream. Wow. Oh, hey, everyone is here. Okay. Oh, is that the frozen tier request? It looks perfect. Here's your payment as promised. Yeah, let's go. All right. Where's Abigail though? We can't, we can't end stream until I feed Abigail the frozen tear. <gasps> there she is! Hey! Okay, wait. Let's first chat. Do you ever get the urge to go exploring, Shinji? Oh, I do. I do, though. But that's because I'm a ronin and I just want to wander around all over the place without any particular direction or destination. Okay, pretend you want a free vacation. Where would you go? Oh, <gasps> the beach, dark cave, 
old gnarled forest? Georgia Mega Mall. <laughs> Dark Cave of the Forest? Dark Cave of the Forest. Ooh, they're both kind of spooky. They're both kind of spooky. But the cave has actual monsters that we see. You do mine a lot? Yeah, I do mine a lot in the caves. If the forest was spookier, then I would, but it's just an old and gnarled forest. The descriptor is dark, so I, I think we'll go for the, the dark cave. Yeah. Cave for the all you can eat rocks? No, it's not a buffet. <laughs> Caves are not buffets. <laughs> No. <laughs> a dark cave. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. Oh. Okay. Now we give the frozen tear. Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Liked gifts. Frozen tear. Yes! Let's go, let's go! I wonder how, how much work does it take to get the hearts up, because we're still at one heart, despite two gifts, so... Oh? Okay, it's just that, okay. <sighs> let's go! Alright. We have completed Emily's quest, and we have fed Abigail. It sounds... still sounds weird. We have gifted Abigail a mineral. That she promptly consumed in front of us. <laughs> Alright. Time to head back home. I think it's been... Yeah. It's been four hours. We got a good successful Stardew Sunday. Let's go. Um, just like a heads up chat. Uh, one thing I'm trying to do is... Try to stream... Uh, more frequently. But less... In terms of duration each time just so that like the vods don't get too difficult um to catch up on and just for all my like own personal like energy so yeah we'll go and call it here at four hours i know these are short but i'll have more streams next week uh keep your eyes open for a new schedule Ooh. i think um the membership coins have seen a a little preview of what the schedule will look like. Um, it's in the membership community post there. So, yeah. Look forward to some spookiness happening because uh, I want to try a few things this week that are uh, spooky but solo spooky. So, yeah. Thank you all for stopping by, everybody. I'm so glad we were able to actually get like a proper Stardew Valley stream. We'll pick this up next week. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, uh, oh no, I'm not supposed to be this sleepy. <laughs> Koyasumi, everybody. Koyasumi. Alright. Let me go ahead and see who is currently streaming. Four hours is good. This has some. This has goes with something that works feel, feels works for you. Yeah! I think four to five hours feels pretty solid for me uh, when it comes to the the total hours of stream. So, we'll see, we'll see. I kind of want to keep it around here. Like, around four, around five. I think those are, like, a, a good area to do. And then we'll save, like, the six-hour-plus streams for, um, like, the, the special events to make them a bit more stand out ish to make them stand out a bit more i suppose yeah all right let's see it looks like ooh, it looks like octavio is currently playing final fantasy uh x v i 16 final fantasy 16 let me go send you over there to his channel please have a wonderful time over at octavio say hello to octavio and the puppets for me Hope you have a wonderful time over there. Uh, I need to figure out what I need to say. Like I need, to, I need a proper outro. Um, chat, help me come up with more, more, more uh, idle like outros and intros. Uh, 
the, the hostess with the ghosts uh maybe i don't know we'll figure it. We, we still need to figure out a maybe that's what we'll do for monet uh for a membership stream before uh axel and altair's uh 3d collab uh, we'll figure we'll figure something out <laughs> koyasumi everybody koyasumi